and we are now recording so welcome to youtube which no one actually watches but it's for mostly mostly history purposes posterity. Uh, but, yeah posterity so let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and introduce everyone going the top down uh we have top going down we have kapili to start which is actually andre who is this little skeleton guy this little skeleton guy I'm too tired to think of anything else. <laughs> He's a skeleton guy. He uh he likes to think visions of the future. Um we have a what looks to be a robot looking creature. Yep. Valstrax, big tall metal dragon, monk, very fast. I'm also tired, so I can't see very good descriptions. <laughs> I absolutely love the no touchy, very hot label. No touchy, very hot. I love this image of it. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, that's it. Next up, we have a single Le Fay. Uh, Joy uses the power of love and friendship to spread uh, joy and bliss to everyone she encounters. Uh, next up, we have uh, Auslan. <laughs> okay. Um, Auslan is a. Uh, Medium ish height, uh, dark haired man in fine silks and covered in jewelry. He has a golden rapier on his side, and his eyes are prismatic along with his veins. And uh, next up, we have the furry. <laughs> Giggles is a relatively tall but lanky and wetted looking doll. Uh, she she's painted a face uh with white face paint but it doesn't seem to have much purpose to it no markings or anything just spatters and streaks and uh last we have the monk moon kid a just a, a young bald man in normal monk robes is going out there to see the world for what it really is instead of being stuck inside a single temple Doing nothing but discussing philosophy and all that kind of boring stuff. And he's excited to make money. Money. Okay, she goes up here. Uh you happen to be very lucky as you all are normally normally you all guys are basically, you know, taking quests from like, you know, the secretary, you know, Sharp Fang, who's up here, who's a little bit of a the cobalt. He seems to be for some reason like the main, like one of the guild officers. Of uh, the original guild, um, he's one of the most popular people here. Oh Jesus! And uh, normally you'd kind of get it from him, but today the king of the guild himself has deigned to bless you all with a quest from his own lips. As you see, the king of the uh, guild, well, mostly the guild leader here, uh, who is Gorhook who is a very, very happy dwarf-looking character, as he always seems to have a mug of ale in his hand, and yet, no matter how much he drinks, the, every single time you look at the mug, it always seems to be full, every single time. Uh, you remember him as, as you are all kind of part of the skill, that he is part of basically having a huge amount of uh, magical portals, as he is a basically an nth-level uh, portal mage. And he has requested from you all a personal quest, as he mentions that his friend uh, of the Fey Wilds is having some trouble in his lands. And he would like to address you all and ask if he could to ask for a personal mission from you all to go check out the Fey Wilds and have uh, you all help his friend. I have never been to the Fey Wild before. Do you have any advice? Uh, you just see Gorg giving a loud, uh, kind of almost a, almost like a drunken life, a drunken like laugh. So he says, "Of course, my dear, my laddie. I have only one bit of advice." He kind of leans in real close. It's a well-guarded secret. I have to hunch down <laughs> real low. It says, "Never touch the Fey King's silverware." Just the silverware. Never touch the Fey King silverware, or you'll be sending. I'll be sending my own adventures after you people. Never See, touch the Fey King silverware. 
it seems really specific for something small like uh, like you talking like utensils like forks and spoons i am a ladder right? of course my ladder you think i'm gonna have you wandering off with the fey king's silverware do you know how hard it is to get that stuff to the fey wilds i have to open up oh, entire so portals oh you were telling us not to steal it not oh. to uh okay. oh of course my ladder you can you can eat with it all day they are magically enhanced silverware, of course, to make every single flavor the best flavor you've ever had in your entire life, no matter what goes on the other end of the fork. Hmm. I mean... Okay, all right. do not steal the silverware. Tastes probably pretty good, I don't... Huh. Okay, uh... What about anything actually dangerous? Uh, that could that could probably be something, right? You need a voice for that? Uh, that's kind of... I feel like a lot of that comes from your training here. You think we're gonna run a guild of a bunch of people who don't know what they're doing? I'm pretty sure the combat's for y'all to deal with. And I'm sure there's plenty of things in the Fey Wilderness that would love to eat you. So I say, recommend I keep your distance from them, especially the Pixies. Kinda looks over to the one of the recently, uh, one of the recently joined guild members of the guild. Uh, and he just kinda looks over at you, Joy. Always beware of the Pixies. Yeah. They're so mean. You know, <laughs> they bully us because we're smaller. <laughs> and, uh, I have my friend Shop Fang. He's gonna take over the, uh, guild for the day as I go and help create a portal for you all. Alright. If you have no more need for any of the shops or the food here, then I'll be happy to take you along in the journey. Seem kind of like, kind of like bumble past a little bit as he kind of like he's walking like left to right. He's kind of walking left to right to past all you. I think I can't. I, I can't. Hmm? Go ahead. Our investigator is doing investigatory things. Yes, I, I I'm letting him uh, go through his stuff and then like once, yeah, once yeah, he's yeah. ready to, to like go through, he can say anything. I just posted in a chat beforehand so he knows. Yep. Hmm. Well. Through the Fey Wilds, then I guess, right? Which direction are we going? I mean, uh, this is. Hmm. Gonna hear say, the the only direction in the Fey Wilds is the correct direction. You feel you'll find out where you need to go. I'm sure. I'll have a personal I'll have a personal guide from the king himself to come and help you. Okay, well, I, I honestly, to be perfectly honest with you right now, sir, I have no idea what to expect going to the Feywild. It's just like too many stories. I can't tell how much of those kinds of stories would be just actual fake or actual real stories here. So I'm just, uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I should over prepare or not to, for this kind of situation. I can tell. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking at that, Austin. Um, I can explain anything that you need to be explained. I just put it in the chat yeah. so that I don't disturb, like, you know, I don't interrupt you. Let me just see uh, what pursuing anything... a lead does. Uh, what exactly are you trying to... Actually, no, I will let you have a... I will let you pursue whenever that comes up. I will give you that. Uh, basically, I can just... Uh, it, it will, like, in the minute, I can just start an investigation and the way that investigators work is like we have investigations mm -hmm. and our mechanics uh, revolve around the things that we investigate and the targets are of our investigation are the like important things that our mechanics will like uh, affect mm -hmm. and that feat that I posted red herring basically just says if the thing that I'm request or that I'm saying I'm about to start an investigation on you, if you as the GM know, like that will not like be beneficial in any way, mm -hmm. then you like have to tell me like that is something that will like not lead you anywhere. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, by all means, yeah. I'm I'm very like, much open with that yeah, kind of well, stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, like without that feat, you don't have to tell me that, and so like it becomes I have to be more careful with my investigations because like I could, like, because I only get to I have two investigations at a time. Okay. 
um, or like two targets of investigations at a time. So I have to be careful with like when I'm investigating. But with that feat, it basically like lets me, you know, be a like, you know, just just throw stuff at like throw stuff at the fan a bit because you have to tell me like, oh, that's not going to benefit you like at all, right? Yep. Uh, but you... uh, to g- give you a, a bit more, like basically, like some of the stuff that you'll see be later say later is like, uh, this will give me like plus ones on like various kinds of checks of like recall knowledge and tracking and all that kind of stuff. Um, in combat, if I'm fighting against things that are the like kind of like the eventual ends of my investigation, if that makes sense, mm-hmm. like the things that are a part of my investigation, I get to do an action for a specific investigator action for free. And if they're not, then I have to spend an action on that thing. And um, I get to, as a reaction, give a, a plus one to people. Actually, it might be plus two now. I'll, I'll, I'll read and I'll tell you. Yeah. Uh, but like, I get to give a bonus to people um, when they do like recall knowledge checks or something like that, if it relates to my investigation. Yeah. Uh, I think because your latest plus one at some point increases to plus two. Yeah, it is plus one. I, I'm level four now, so it might be plus two. I'm going to check that. Yeah. Um, and that uh, give other people as well as a reaction, so it's only one yeah, person yeah. at a time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so forth. Uh, Probably you... the biggest advantage is like being able to hit them uh, with uh, combat stuff for a free action rather than a full action. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see this... Um... Uh, you see the dwarf kind of, uh, as you recognize him as your very esteemed uh, guild leader here, at least in this universe, and the guild leader has brought you out to the, uh, basically the kind of middle of, it's a few ways out of town, as he doesn't want to open up a portal, you know, too close to town, lest anyone, any commoner find its way into the Fey Wilds. So after about a maybe hour journey uh, walking, making sure that you're more of a secluded area, he takes you out by the uh, river that flows into the sea. And you kind of see him uh, kind of stop for a moment. He says, give me a moment, laddies. I got to open up the portal to the fair. It always takes me a moment. Says, you got to build up the magic, of course. And you will see him begin to basically start... Uh, almost doing what looks to be some kind of dance as you just see him begin to move around this specific like circle on the ground as he just begins to sing uh, dwarven drunken songs. Basically the drunken Irish songs but with uh, dwarf lyrics instead. And as he begins to sing you just see what looks to be almost like a purplish glow in the middle and it begins to expand and expand until almost the purple globe has almost a 3d depth to it and it's almost like a pool is opening up into the world itself you know i have more questions about when we're gonna get back if he has to do this again what do you guys think about that (laughs) we can figure it out later it's okay I, i can do it is gonna, are we gonna, do we have a dance in the next portal going back? Nah, Perhaps. Can I help him out? Yeah. Go and give me a performance. Wee. I guess we're dancing. For hey, dell, day, ho, day, lily, hawk. I drive stroke, thin, thin to the earth and make love to the rock. Oh, for the blood. And he just starts kind of uh, going around the whole thing. Uh, the dwarves kept on top and at the forest of stumps. And, uh, after no, some the, time... The voice is terrible, but it, it, do, do I get a, a certain stance bonus, you know? Being, go for it. I, 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 came out, I, I came out of Portal of the Fae. Yeah, go and give me a performance check. Uh, you kind of dance along with him as your corgi kind of, like, bounces back and forth. And it kind of seems to follow him like it's almost like the game of Simon says, as you kind of repeat the gestures that he does, trying to mimic the uh, body language. And uh, after after the uh, last chorus is sung and the last lyrics have finished, 
The uh, portal is now done, and you see a few beads of sweat coming from him. And this is a very clearly, like, extra-dimensional portal. Uh, it doesn't take one to get detect magic to uh, know that this is an extremely magical portal. And uh, after he finishes up, he says, uh, And lastly, I'll make sure to uh, come inside with you at least enough to get you to where you need to go. I'm just gonna point to the portal. After you, of course. He kind of bows, bows his uh, head together, kind of like catching his breath a little bit. Okay. Oh, okay. Then. Oh, okay. Oh, I just meant to get these two. Oh, God. There was, was a trap. There was a trap. No. There was a trap. Well, I guess you're going in. <laughs> Anything happening? Uh, yep. Uh, what is Oslin and Andre doing? Because you're kind of watching everyone jump in. I am smart enough to know not to be the first person that jumps into a fucking portal into the Feywild. You're just kind of staring. And I'll look at Botan. And I'll, like, see what Botan is. Uh, how, how does Botan feel about this? How does uh, Mar- Botan, he you see almost how, you how almost she doing? you almost see almost like a bit of almost excitedness to it as the Fey Wilds is known for its nature magic. You see almost kind of like a kitten like glance in their eyes as they kind of stare at the portal, feeling that closeness to like the nature magic that comes from it. Okay, Botan, if you want to go in there, we'll go in there. I don't trust these Fey though. Never will, or never have, never will. Wow. I don't trust Faye. Don't trust oh. Faye. They lie and cheat and steal and trick. Wow. Wow, that's it's true. Great here. What? Except for the one that gave me a bunch of items. Uh, our, oh. our, our Faye pal is great. Did, but did I don't give trust him, these. Uh, uh, give I, don't, him your I don't trust these other Faye. <laughs> Joy actively agrees with you. She's like, yeah, yeah, you know, we love tricky and we love lying. Oh, it's so fun. Oh, like, nice yeah, I agree. Faye are fun because it's fun to interact with people like that, but I don't trust them. Uh, after you make your way through the beautiful portal that uh, he goes in, uh, you find yourself in a almost magical forest, as if the if the forest itself, almost every single thing seems to be living, even down to the rocks themselves, almost as if they're swaying with magical intent. You come out of this uh, giant portal, and it's almost like you've come out of a giant stump of a grand old tree, and you find yourself in the Fey Wilds with the uh, Gorhook standing there, uh, and what looks to be petting a creature of sorts. Uh, And you look, and it basically looks like a regular old fox, but with almost butterfly wings protruding from their body. And a little tiny butterfly antenna seem to be sprouting out from the top of their head. Can I touch it? Yes, you may. Did we touch it? Oh, good pats. I'll see butterfly. Uh, And uh, it says, uh... This is my friend, uh, he says, uh, this is the Fey King's personal bodyguard, sorry, uh, she'd be a pleasure to take you to the Fey King herself. Is this a bodyguard? Uh, I mean, it doesn't look that, I mean, I mean, is it weird for me to say it doesn't look intimidating, or is that just part, part of its, uh, thing? Uh, you just hear, uh, you hear inside your head... Uh, Joy, as you just hear almost a soft, almost motherly voice saying, uh, I try to appear as non-threatening as possible. As you just see the fox kind of like stare into your eyes, but without moving its muzzle at all. Mm. And you are doing a beautiful <laughs> job, you fluffy thing. He says, uh, otherwise my, my adventuring kiddos, I'll be back for whatever you finish your mission. The Fey King has a personal line to me, so I'll be back to open up the portal whenever you're ready to go. You're not st- you're not gonna guide us more around here? And he jumps through the uh, portal. Oh, oh, okay. Well, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 
you uh you see the antennas begin to kind of move almost in a hypnotic pattern as all of you kind of hear in your own heads uh right this way we have uh we have mostly some few problems that the faking himself would like to address with you all and you see the fox begin to almost kind of like just gently stride uh south beautiful around here you know but like I, I don't know what the story is they all seem to scare me just a little giggles bit. giggles is grinning as she follows the fox Nika is just like reluctantly following the, the fox uh Austin you see Botan almost having this like just fascination with the world itself as they're kind of like looking around and you kind of see like almost like the, the almost like the little fireflies of the entire area seem to almost kind of like light up as Baton kind of like investigates the uh, nature magic that is involved here. As this girl has gotten bigger, she's only become more energetic. Oh, what am I going to do with her? Uh, you begin. Joey wants to communicate, and he's like, "Don't worry, the stories are all true." They're not. None of them are true. No, they're all true. What? They're all true? Oh, oh God! I heard about a gnome who lost his name to a crossing. I, is is that something that happens? Hmm. I think it can. Uh, I heard something about something similar. Huh. Okay. A lot more people though. That's just a gnome. Okay then, alright. Not uh, sharing my name. Got it. Uh, you begin to walk through the uh, Feywilds and like, you you seem to go south, like just stick, like a straight shot south. And after a bit of walking, you manage to appear uh, right to the north of the portal that you just exited. And then the fox just takes like a sharp left. And then you start heading east. Uh directions don't exactly seem to make sense here um but it does seem like the fox is knowing exactly where he's going or oh, exactly exactly where she's going uh as you're passing through the fey wild you see what looks to be like bugs of like giant proportions as if entire horses sized bugs have been just crawling up and down as well as some of the animals themselves seem to be normal sized and it's almost like every single thing has taken its own, the interpretation of what it's like in the regular world, but twisted just enough to make you kind of take a second glance at it. I would like to do a recalled knowledge check about the general stuff that we're kind of like seeing mm -hmm. in this area of the Feywild to kind of get like an idea of do I maybe, have I perhaps read about like yeah. What I'm seeing, like, am I kind of aware of where we are? Does that make sense? Yeah, uh, go ahead and roll me a nature check with your, uh... Yeah, go ahead and roll me a nature check. And so this is where I get to start being a bit annoying. And there's another thing that I'm going to have to be annoying about for... <laughs> Actually, first I'll be the... I'll do the other thing that's annoying. Yeah. Uh, which is... This is the entire uh, the, investigated uh, class. <laughs> the the my, my favorite <laughs> feat of investigator is a dubious Cheek knowledge. Feet. Okay. Hey. Oh, really foiled the GM's plan. As somebody, I, I, I will let you read game? it first. I will let you read it first, and then explain whatever needs to be explained. Uh, there was a lot of things out of the ordinary. Question? I'll. <laughs> Ask if you want to ask that question as another investigator, man. It's always important. <laughs> oh, the one time I didn't ask, I got exploded by a fireplace. <laughs> hmm, that's odd. So is there, is there like, is there something that's, is there, is there a forced thing that has to be out of the odd? Like, if nothing is Basically, out of the odd? Like you as odd. the, uh, you as the GM. Th so. The way that people use this feat is different. Some GMs really hate this feat. Some GMs love this feat. Hmm. Like, some GMs will use this to, like, progress their story, if that makes sense. Well, they'll, yeah. they'll use it to, like, uh, um, 
direct the player's attentions to something important without the players having to spend time finding it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, they... Some GMs will, like, hate this feat because they always have to come up with some BS answer. Uh, yes, like, so. actually, I do have something. I, I am actually, so I would be in the category of loving this because I actually do typically have a lot of things that people don't notice. Um, it is important to note that raw, it's not like I'm going to give you this information. It's more, yeah. there is something that you could find. Yeah. Oh, no, I'll go ahead and just... You you, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to give any information about it. You just have to say, like, oh, look at that. That's weird. Like, by raw, that's all you have to do. Like, you just have to point at something and be like, oh, that's weird. Your character notices that. Like, if the chest is a mimic, you might say, hmm, there's something weird about that chest. Yeah. Um, I will actually say... Or if, like, there's, like, an an important prop in a room that you want the players to eventually find, you can just be like, oh, look. There's this book on the on the table. That's kind of yeah. weird. Or uh, this kind of off. So this is most. I will say this is most likely going to be part of the part two. So it won't help you in today's session. Um, but in terms of the actual lore of the world itself, uh, you notice that there seems to be a few creatures that almost seem like they've maybe been passed out. But as you kind of go and like investigate one of them, because it's like they they. You, you know the difference between a corpse and, like, something sleeping, right? Like, you, you have enough knowledge to know the difference. But as you go to investigate, like, a few, like, one or two of, like, the squirrels around here that seem to be almost, like, in this catatonic sleep, uh, you notice absolutely no decay on their body whatsoever, and there seems to be, like, nothing that would ever cause them to be basically dead. But they seem to be almost sleeping in a perpetual, like, catatonic state where... They don't, like, you touch them and they don't move. There, there seems to be no visible sign of, like, anything wrong. But they do seem to be just still, as if something has left their body. Okay. And now that I know that information from you, I will do the recall knowledge check. Yep. So that, you know, you don't have to, like, repeat yourself or anything like that. Uh, you are pretty sure, do you have dubious knowledge? Yes, I do, actually. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you for reminding me. I do have dubious knowledge. For I wonder why that's relevant. Uh, you are 90% sure that in some of the books you read, that they just love just eating souls. Like, they are just like, they'll like take a soul, and it's just like, they'll just eat it, like, straight up. Like, they'll just like, you'll see them, and they'll be like, hi, how are you today? Like, oh, what soul did you eat today? Like, you know, I, I ate a hyena soul, and you know, they, they're very, very just really interested in having the uh, souls. But you also recall that they also seem to be most of the time being very respectful of the dead. And while normally they just seem to really love eating souls for some reason, uh, most Fae typically respect the living enough to not mess with it. I will go up to Joy and I will ask, what does its soul taste like? I've always wondered. It's delicious. Oh my god. But like, I, I, obviously, it's delicious because I just keep reading that they love to eat souls. But sorry, like, what, what does souls? it taste like? Uh, um, Joy will say, uh, Joy jo will consider, and she'll she'll think of. Uh, mm, I think. Hmm. Oh, oh! I think it tastes like my. This is something I, I like a lot. I, I'll put it in chat. There, there's your, there's your nature. It's, it's on, it's on uh, um, the, the, the sap. It, it's in, uh, it's in one of the jungles. I, I think it tastes like that. I forgot the name. Uh, oh shit! Oh, one second. That's a, that's a ten. I didn't tick off pursue a lead. <laughs> you got a ten. Like, <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, yeah. either way. <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 I, I, I'm just letting you know that's yeah. supposed to be a ten, not a eleven. Unless my investigation uh, into the Fae Kings matters. So what do you... So, uh, Joy, describe exactly what you were saying to them. Um, he, he's asking if I if I like eating souls, and yeah. Joy is... And I wasn't say like, Joy, freaking, she loves them. Okay. She's like, uh, they, they taste like... And she's remembering the, the sap from the jungle that, that she, she can make now. Um, it, it's called a blood sap, and she, she loves it. And she tried to do it to everybody. Uh, you would guess, uh, Oslin, you would guess 
that they seem to be messing with you right now as they they don't really they're not really too confident in their demeanor as you see the corgi kind of like almost like laughing in corgi right now yeah and also um that uh what's it called joy if you want the like the unconscious people joy walk them through and be like hmm, i wonder where they are now I also just realized, you have a corgi. Otan will play with the corgi. Ah. Sometimes. Um. So, Joy walk up to the corpse and say, yeah. Yeah, I had to leave like that once, but it's fine now. It, it happens every once in a while. Uh, after, after, uh, after walking through some time, you come up and the fox himself kind of leads you to what looks to be almost like an ancient tree that seems to have almost a gaping face like maw that almost invites you inside the tree trunk itself though the entire if you look inside the tree trunk it looks almost purely black as if whatever is there is just a void to be had even though you can, like, normally like, you try to even, like, try to kind of, like, shine a little bit of a light to kind of try to catch the rays of the sun itself, it seems to be almost just like a curtain of black film that seems to be layering the outside of the small. As you see the, uh, fox begin to just idly walk straight on through to the inside of the trunk. Uh, uh... So I will charge forth and follow her. I'm get Moonkid's getting more concerned about the Fairy Wild, and he's just holding back a way to tell someone else to go through. Yeah, Joya just charges in, and she'll laugh all the way. Uh, anyone else? Oh boy. Sounds like a skill issue, man. And I walk forward. <laughs> oh. I see I'll, no problem. I'll walk forward. I will, uh, yes. I will ask this. What does Botan think of this fox butterfly? What does she think? Uh, Botan How almost, does she interact with it? Uh, it is almost like a kin of the cat itself seems to have welcomed them to the Feywild. As though they may be bullpen in nature, uh, they seem very uh, warm and welcome to it. It's almost as if their own little kind of cat pack has uh, been welcomed in. Well, okay. Botan trusts it. I'll uh, go forward for now. Remember, Botan, don't trust the fate. Guess I'm the last person to go in then. Botan is not listening. Yeah, Botan is not listening. But uh, Moon Kid, you are left there alone with almost the entire world seems to be kind of slowly passing your by. As the uh, the entire maw of the uh, trunk almost stares at you with a almost like almost frightening visage as you kind of like deciding whether to go in or not yeah i'm going in everyone's already going in through so i may as well be with everybody else <laughs> uh with More that a. uh with that you now find yourself as you go through this uh tree trunk uh it, the tree the inside of the tree opens up into a beautiful open scenery with various uh, high amounts of trees with colors blooming in full and little tiny huts that seem to have like a little tiny like doghouse for each individual uh, something a little bit smaller than what a regular humanoid would typically have on the inside you just see uh, various beds of uh, different leaves each representing one of the seasons itself as you see almost like a snow patch that seems to be perfectly fine sitting in the middle of a beautifully warm forest Others, you see the fall leaves almost brown and decayed, but yet still perfectly uh, crisp, as if something is ready to roll in them. The others, you see the fresh meadows of a springtime, opening and inviting, as if the sweet smell of the daisies and the roses have uh, walked through the other one. And the last one is just the uh, summer, as you just see little tiny sunflower seeds and sunflower plants that seem to be almost dancing between the breeze. Um, as you kind of look and you're kind of walking through, and this is kind of what you see looking around. Um, let me make sure everyone's here. 
Uh, at the head, you do see what looks to be a large table with a with two, four different almost god almost like fey like creatures each with their own set of wings except for one little uh nature pup here and at the head of the table is a large feline creature um anthropomorphic in nature and you just see him uh begin to welcome you and say uh well welcome to the fey wilds i am the high king drixel are you from, I'm assuming, Gorha, because he has sent you all to help me? Yes. Indeed, this seems to be the case. Yes, we are. Well, then, uh, sit and eat. I can't have any adventures happening on a very, very empty stomach, as the Feywilds can be such a journey today. And they will invite you all to have a personalized seat. I started whispering to everybody, if anybody asks for my name, just call me Sun Man. I see. Uh, you will see all of the, uh, can four... I, Go can ahead. Can I do a recall knowledge check to see if I think, uh, Moon Kid's superstitions are valid when it comes to the name? I should probably recall knowledge on Fey lore in general as well. Do you? Does the pixie have Fey lore? Um, no, but <laughs> is it like I live there? You can just start giving me. Go ahead and just start giving me some little checks. I, I forgot to take the plus one off you're, too. That's it a, doesn't. That's it, you're good. Um, I, I just leave, I just typically leave it on because it's like a checkbox, like in my yeah. actions thing. And I just usually. So, leave it on. what exactly are you trying to check, Olson? I noticed that Ruben just said like not to use his real name, and uh, I I understand why he's saying that, and I'm saying or I'm trying to check if, for, based off of what I know about Faye, if that's like an actual, um, if that superstition holds true or not. If that makes sense. Uh, well, uh, you recall... Faye, Faye knowing your name is bad. Oh, let me get the uh, different... I gotta keep take... I gotta take that off, I swear. Kevin, that one. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you... With that recall knowledge check, um, you are 90% sure that, like, you really don't get the Faye the names. Like, if the Faye, if the Faye even dares learned your first and last name, then they will invite you down to dinner and then try to basically offer you all the food and southern hospitality as they possibly can. Uh, you're, you're not really, you're not really too sure, to be honest, but, like, you think Moon Kid, like, you want to, you want to be supportive of Moon Kid and what he thinks, so you're like, yeah, I, I think I, you know, I, I remember something like that, like, you kind of recall something, you're, like, trying to make Moon Kid feel a little bit better, you're kind of playing along with him, but you're, you're not really too sure whether that's a thing or not. I think for me, society would be, like, the lower. I uh, forgot what Moon had wanted me to call him. <laughs> he just didn't call- uh, told He's a like, sudden person. Moon kid, what did you want me to tell the Fae? <laughs> sun guy. <laughs> sun man. <laughs> sun man, sun man, I remember. I'm going to look up to the High King and ask, May I take this chair? By all means, and please enjoy to- I have a feast prepared for you all, as I would never have anyone leave into my forest on an empty stomach. Now, depending on what rules we're working by, I might just own this chair now. <laughs> and, uh, just, just to be clear, this this one is the fake. Yep. Okay. Name is High King Drixel. I will, uh, no. do a... Uh, so who wanted to do the other check, by the way? Who wanted to do a society check? Yeah, I, um, Joy, I, I think for me, like, society is, like, you know... Yeah, go for it. Lore, cause, cause I was, I, you know, I live here. Yeah, go ahead and here. give me a society check. There's gonna be a huge, like, bonus to this. Y'all really aren't helping me here, like... I want to give y'all things. I want y'all to find out about this world. I really do want y'all to find out. I mean, I could roll a nature check. Um, you remember in society, like, 
you kind of remember, like, you kind of joked around a lot. Like, you always kind of, like, threw food at your kid, you know, whenever you were younger. You kind of threw food around the table. And you, you were pretty, like, your parents seemed pretty cool with you kind of messing around at the table. So you figure that most of the Fae are pretty chill with you, like, having, you know, bad manners at the kitchen table. You know? You, you'd imagine that no one really cares if you have manners at the kitchen table, Joy. As you didn't have one growing up, you know? Whoop. <laughs> I would like. Uh, yeah, I know for sure it's not true, but. Raise a shield. I would like. Stop raising oh, a shield. Not raise a shield. Not raise a shield. That's the wrong one. That's I'm the like, wrong please, one. Ashley, I'm like, please, Ashley, please do not. Wrong one. I clicked the wrong one. Oh, oh, oh. I would like to sense motive <laughs> on the faking, and this time I do get the plus one because I'm investigating him. I I'll go in. I want to sense motive. Go and just give me some, uh, give me a secret little perception check there. <laughs> you guys really will I get that? Will I get that? That sweet, sweet reaction there. Yes, I will give him clue in. Nice. We've been talking on throughout the way, and I have been telling him what I think about uh, the fake cake so far. <laughs> so, like a you guys are killing me. Y'all guys are just. You want a fourteen? <laughs> he want a twelve. I. <laughs> What? what is you y'all is y'all is super now. sus like you are just super sus of everything <laughs> this this is like there may be like a bomb under each of your seats like you are you all are very uncomfortable in this situation as y'all just like, really don't trust them. No <laughs> can you at least tell us if there's anything odd in this room yeah, is it, is uh, it odd? Oh, yeah, he see he odd. is he is welcoming you to a feast to just partake in before you go on your journey it seems to be just like you don't think it's a normal feast like you are you are 100 percent looking for like something that you were like you're just waiting for something to pop out as the king is just kind of smiling just kind of like it's like kind of nodding his head you know like kind of waiting for everyone to sit down okay. and he's just kind of like now, waiting just to clarify this meal is not poisoned or uh, enchanted in any way is it it's always been eating, by the way. <laughs> it is actually. It's beautifully enchanted to have the best sensation that you've ever tasted. Each meal itself and each ingredient has been personally blessed by me personally to make sure that every flavor is the maximum nutritional value and flavor as I possibly can give it to anyone. And that is the extent of the enchantment? I thought it was your silverware that was enchanted, not your meals. Can I say I'm not eating and I'm eating a ration? Uh, would you like to do that? Would you like to not give, to not take the gift of the faking? I'm like sneaking, like oh, I'm like holding it in my hands and like slowly sneaking it away as I'm eating, as I'm chewing on a ration. Misery is not eating that. Uh, everything I throw away, misery eats. Uh, Moon Kid, uh, I want you to. Do, is this obvious that you're not partaking in the king's meal? Like, I'm trying to fake it, basically. Like, I need to roll a deception check. Deception? You, you know how when you order, you, you just have food that, you know, you like mom made, but it's really bad. Oh, well, that's pretty good. And then, like, oh, I'm chewing something, and it's my rations. I'm chewing yep, it. I need a deception check. Uh, so, as you begin to eat the rations, uh, the fake king does kind of look over, and with almost a sad look, and says, uh, My dear friend, if you do not wish to partake in the food, I would ask that you step away from the dinner table, as we cannot have someone reject such hospitality and openness. You are new here, so I will give you the benefit of your first mistake, but please, um, please wait outside until we have our dinner concluded. If you, I only want friends at this table here, and friends partake in the hospitality that I provide. And you will see one of the foxes, you see like the fox kind of walk up to you, and kind of bow his head and says, please follow the fox on the way out. Yeah, we will have a dinner here. Uh, I'll, all right then. I'll wait for you guys outside. Uh, and uh, the, the fox will lead you outside. Save me later. I'm outside this door. I'm not there. Be suspicious. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be like, you know... <laughs> I don't know if you mind, but a lot of people, I think they, they reincarnated outside of your house. I mean, I always did that in my house, personally, but, you know, I guess they do do whatever, wherever. They uh, do what they do, I don't know. Is, uh, is Auslan taking a seat, by the way? I was going to ask you, what is Botan doing? 
Uh, Botan seems to kind of... They kind of find the more uh, feline of one of the guardians. And they go up to here and kind of uh, purr next to the uh, guardians. They kind of sit and relax next to this almost feline, uh, angelic wing looking... Uh, not really too sure what animal it is, but Botan seems to be uh, taking a small familiar liking to it. I'll go up to Botan and I'll say, Do not be rude in front of the king's presence. Botan, you know this. We're royalty. He's royalty. We need to show our proper status. And I will bring Botan back and force her to sit properly in the chair. <laughs> and now I'm wishing I was level 2. The still feet I now with twirly graces. That's my plan to pay. Okay. And, um... What did you say? Oh, I I just said I, I just wish I was level 2 because uh, I planned my character and I, I the still feet I took to level 2 was courtly graces. <laughs> Yeah, I've been Aww. thinking about what to pick courtly graces, but there's so much other stuff I want to pick. Yeah. Uh, you I all... courtly graces for the RP. Uh, you, you all sit down, and do you all partake in the uh, king's meal? Uh, Giggles is still continuing along the previous line of thought. You know what? I thought uh, it was I'll... your silverware that was enchanted, not the meal. It's, uh, the Fae King gives almost a small smile as he, uh, now seeing everyone kind of get down, he will take his own personal seat here and says, uh, Yes, the silverware has its own enchantments as well as the food. Almost in a kind of, he kind of, like, waves his hand almost in a, in a nonchalantly, uh, wrist flip of himself as he points out everything here seems to have its own purpose. But for life itself seems to have a purpose, and I like to make sure that we have all life to fulfill its most intended purposes, and he kind of says, the food is enchanted, the silverware is enchanted, and my dear, you are enchanting for today. Uh, Giggles seems to just completely not notice that last sentence. Uh, she has been spending a lot of time in the library learning up on magic, and she is absolutely going down this railway of so, what is the enchantment on the food that needs to be supplemented by the silverware? And what is the properties of the silverware such that you would need to enchant it and the food uh, rather than, say, the table or the uh, area around it? And he kind of, as you kind of talk with him, they say, Well, of course, the reason why we have both the silverware and the food enchanted is because I repair the food with the silverware. And a little bit of it rubs off onto the food, and that's how I kind of season it. As the one always says, you must season your cutting board, not your food. And, so uh, if I ate this food with a wooden fork, it would still taste excellent. As long as it was prepared by the silverware that I provide, then yes. And the, uh, that's actually one of the issues that I would like to bring up with you. Um, and I will let Arslan get to their thing first. Yes, um, so technically speaking, Identify Magic is a 10 minute activity. Yep. However, upon uh, hearing that everything on this table is enchanted, <laughs> I would like to kind of study the magic of mm -hmm. the tape, like of all the stuff that's on the table. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're going to make it take 10 minutes or shorter or less. I don't uh, know. 10 minutes uh, is the. Yep. Uh, 10 minutes is. Like, uh, 10 minutes is basically like as you are beginning to eat and talk. You just kind of almost examine the materials and everything in almost a... Kind of almost like a childlike wonder as you just kind of investigate oh, technically everything. technically this is also a... This is a skill check. I, I was mostly just asking, like, in terms of, like, the time. Yeah, you, it would be over the course of the meal as you begin to investigate it. And you're kind of sensing it and you're trying to be familiar with it. Um, I so will say... Can I roll yes. now or do I roll later? I'll go ahead and roll now. And would I get the plus one or no? Go for it. Okay. And I'm is this uh, Arcada, Nature, like... Uh, Nature. This is mostly going to be Nature checks right now. Uh, everything seems to be almost like the primal magic itself. Okay. Um, you definitely notice that, like, the silverware as you kind of begin to touch and investigate it, similar to Giggles as they, as you all kind of, like, looking with almost, like, wonderment. Uh, you notice the silverware itself almost has, like, a coating of almost like 
magical presence of itself as if you, whenever you hold it you feel like the tingle of the silverware almost like reach in your palm or paw and it almost it almost sends like a warm kind of tingle throughout your body as you hold the silverware and begin to like cut into the meal itself and you almost feel it's like it is almost enchanting the food itself to have basically trans not is it yeah i think transmutation magic basically and it's kind of making the food like a, like a ripe tomato have its like most ripest quality you know the head of lettuce has like the perfect level of crunch the you know the uh pumpkins seem to have like the perfect amount of like squishiness to it and it seems to have and one thing you notice is that as you're kind of touching the food and kind of beginning to partake it's almost like the food itself is changing as you begin to eat it to basically match your own personal like preferences to where like you eating this like imagine like eating a steak and it is exactly how you want a steak to be done you know it's exactly how you want it to be cooked and exactly how you want it to be made and as you're beginning to like incorporate this food along with this silverware you just begin to feel like your whole like body like this is the most enjoyable meal you've had in a long time Okay. So I just want to talk to the fake team and be like, you know, all I could do people before was honey, but I added a lot more. Um, and they seem to really enjoy it now. So all the things I learned, even more than honey, I, it's like great. I, I wish I'd do stuff like this, though. This is a. With a fair time, I'm sure we can all learn these kind of magics, as it is with the nature itself. As if life itself has a is full of magic, all it takes is just a simple knowing of how to harness that magic. And anyone can learn to do this whenever they realize and are in tune to the nature itself. Um... Would anyone else like to ask about the food of Silverware? Or would you like to ask him the personal questions? As you all here for a purpose. I'll ask him what he needs help with too. Uh, he says, uh, I have a few issues that have been, uh, as you can imagine, running an entire Fae Forest is tiresome on the old feline bones here. So I would like some assistance in some of the several tasks that have been causing problems in the forest uh one of them we're still working on and they'll kind of point to the silverware one of my dearest ex-friends have uh stolen a very important uh knife of mine it's a it's a cutlery device as all these others but it is one of my personal any kind of points to some silver part of my personal collection that knife is something that we are still investigating but I'm sure whenever you finish the other things, I'd be happy to hopefully have that finished up for you. In the meantime, there is a few others that I need help with. Um, <laughs> problem, I have undead hungers. Uh, you taste this food, Andre, and it manages to almost taste like the exact flesh of your favorite creature. Like, it knows exactly what creature you personally, like, and deep down in your body, you know you want to eat, and you feel the exact tenderness level of that meat as it begins to uh, chew in your uh, skeletal jaw. Talking about the android, like that's what the soul tastes like. Sorry, what did you say? Um, not the. Um, she, she said that. Uh, she said that's what that's what the soul tastes like. Yeah, that's really good. Ah. And, uh, well, that she says, uh, the, the, the fake king will, uh, say, and the other two issues will, and kind of, kind of, uh, kind of flamboyantly waves to the other. My guardians have been very well acquainted with the forest, and one of them seems to have gone themselves lost, and I would like to have them returned. Normally, my companions here all seem to have a mental link to each other that helps them guide the forest, but one of them seems to be having an issue where we have not been able to find him for weeks. If you could help me hunt down my lost companion, that would be ever so grateful. And the second thing I need help with is there has been a inc 
incredibly annoying wailing that has been happening as if all someone has been crying for days on end and has been such ceaseless in their crying. I would like you to put a stop to this uh, crying as it is disturbing the nature and almost having a gloom about the forest. So if you could, please find the source. Or, and he will actually say, like, I will have one of my pets here show you where the source of the crying is, as I do not want to deal with something so minor. And you see almost kind of like a, almost like, disgust about this, trying to, like, just deal with this specific scenario, as the large feline ears um, kind of pick up the uh, sounds a lot more sensitively than maybe everyone else would have. Uh, Giggle says through a three-quarter mouthful of food. Do you mean through therapy or uh, the more hostile route? I need the crying to stop. It is having a damper on my morning mood. My morning jogs have been met with the wailings of some creature. I do not care. I just need the creature to stop crying so that I may enjoy my morning walks in the peace and serenity that I have so carefully crafted in this world. I do not think that I am good at therapy. Okay. No, I'll work out. Uh. <laughs> oh. Um. A ever wrapping up eating, I guess. Then, uh. Yep, uh, the food, Hoping as you go- three looks a little sus there. <laughs> yeah, but so, it's what's called, uh, Joy will thank, uh, the team of the forest, and, uh, say that, uh, well, I just want to the stuff to kind. Come here, Miss Reed. And he will, so hop on. It was a pleasure dining with you, please. Before you, obviously, I'm sure that it may take you a long while, and you are free to welcome back here, and I will welcome you back, and you may rest your heads here whenever you feel like you need to, as the Fey Wilds welcomes all visitors who like to help the Fey King, of course. You are always welcome in my court. Well, I get to keep the chair. He says, uh, there's, you can have, and he says, uh, there's one back at the guild. Uh, I'll let the guild master know that, uh, you may have that chair. It is a nice chair. You kind of, uh, notice that the chair itself, as, you know, you have your, you know, pretty longish tail, as it's kind of hard to sit down in some chairs due to your tail. But for some reason, as you kind of sit down in these chairs, your tail seems to fold in, like, the perfect way, as it almost, like, caresses the chair in a way that is the most comfortable sitting position you have ever had. Nice. Uh, with that, uh, you have two leads to pursue. Literal ones, uh, Mr. Eck? You seem to have two perfectly good leads that are just waiting for someone to pursue at a drop's notice. Oh, pursuing a lead? That sounds, that sounds too esoteric. <laughs> Uh, there is the, uh, you would like, you can either choose to investigate the crying, or you can try investigating the lost puppy. I think we I have first. to go for the puppy, don't we? Well, you know, he said he really didn't like the, the crying, so. But the puppy. Fair point. <laughs> but, but. That is my entire counterpoint and argument and conclusion but and thesis puppy. statement. <laughs> but the you puppy. know, I'm, the the the, we're, we're, the the crying. We're going to the crying. You want to put it up to a vote? We got one for puppy, one for crying. Moon Kid's not here, so he can't vote. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you get. It's I what mean, you get. when we uh, is he yeah. telling us to he... decide on a part uh, now or? I'm telling you, uh, whichever one you want to go with. There's two different yeah, scenes but, uh, I can drag you to, yeah, basically. Yeah, I mean, like, 
can we like leave the little circle, go back to Moonhead, and yes. ask him what he? Yeah. Uh, you would relay all information you feel relevant to give to Moon Kid. Yeah. We tell him nothing except about the puppy. <laughs> uh, how is uh, Valstrax handling all of this? Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm going to go crying for the vote. He's kind of just being silent, just eating the food, even though he doesn't have to eat food. Just watching what everyone else is doing. Just like... <laughs> I don't know how food works for us, how it does. I don't have to eat, so... Eh. It's combusted, I guess. We can turn his frown upside down. Like, Dude. Andre's not eating the steak, he's eating the bones of the steak. <laughs> they have almost the exact crunchy texture as to your favorite liking. Yeah. It is um... like, it is like the most, it's like, it's like the first chip out of a bag. That's just perfectly made to have that first crunch. Mm. Uh, eat dog. Two for crying. Auslin, it's up to you. Yeah, that's why I did it. <laughs> Auslin, where are you going to pursue a lead here? Oh, I don't. Do I have to pursue a lead now? No, I don't know. I don't know how pursue a lead works. It's more you are oh. literally pursuing a lead that you have. You are literally pursuing it. Uh, not mechanically, oh, er literally. Yeah, yeah, Um, well... Nothing crying. Sorry, I I'm, like, now confused and, tr like, drunk brain. Uh, do you want to go All investigate right, oh. the crying or the puppy? Oh, okay. Um, based off of... My sense, or can I sense motive on the king again, along with my investigation of him, to kind of determine what I think would give us, I don't want to say best result, because that has to deal with the wheel and the best wheel, I best forget what uh, Y'all would be oh, doing best both. Favors? Yeah, best favors, like what I think would like earn uh. us... What I think would be the smart decision, right? Based uh, off of like what I think would be like um meta gaming. Like based on uh, like not, not, not meta gaming. But no, like, no, no, um, no, no. I'm what, saying like meta gaming. These are both the you. These are both quests. So like these are both quests you can do right today. This is like the yeah, two. Yeah. I'm talking about like from uh, Arslan's perspective, because mm -hmm. uh, like uh, Arslan is smart. He's logical, so he understands like um cost versus benefit, yeah. right? cost benefit analysis and from his current perspective on everything i would like to roll like a sense motive check yeah against like how he understands these quests at the moment mm -hmm. to uh determine what he thinks would be yeah the best it. option in terms of like reward versus like how hard he thinks these quests are be. yeah that makes sense what's the xp i'm kidding yes. yeah not, not xp not not any of that uh, whatever Arslan knows and would think about these situations, you can roll with that. Um, I'm gonna leave it up to your interpretation on what I've said. Yep. Uh, just judging by, like, the kind of what he's saying, the, the king seems to have, as he mentions the, uh, morning walks, uh, yeah, he's basically, like, you seem like having to have the king have a more enjoyable morning walk would probably be more important to him than anything else. Okay, so the morning walk is important to him, and which one was That's the, the crying. That's the crying, okay, yes. That's why I'm trying to spread joyously, King. In turn, that round upside down. What dog? Well, knowing that, <laughs> and knowing the investigator class, Arslan would want to investigate this crime. Okay. Uh, luckily, they already know the source of the uh, crying. Uh, they just didn't feel like dealing with it, so they asked someone to come in and help them. Uh, you will see the little fox creature, uh, begin to kind of leave the, uh, these are gonna kind of leave the, uh, giant trunk. Um, and as they leave the trunk, you do end up, uh, just kind of going down the path a little bit. Let me get to it, um. As, as you get closer and closer, um, I keep forgetting to bring the, uh, 
keep forgetting to bring the little fox creature with me. Get to him. Are you all the same uh, people? As you manage to get closer and closer, you kind of like, you kind of go around, like you start, the fox creature starts to like head east a little bit. You kind of head east a little bit until you see what looks to be an ancient tree in the distance. And then you kind of turn, and it just kind of turns directly back south, back where you came from. However, whenever you go back that way, it almost as if the forest itself has shifted to make it exactly the right direction where it needs to go. This is really starting to freak me out, guys. Yeah. I mean, it is an interesting forest. Are you even the same guys that I last saw? What do you mean? <laughs> Just eight. Take 15 know, lefts I, and then 15 rights. I lost sight of everybody when I had to leave. But I exit this, that entranceway is too dark. How do I know you're the same people? Giggles. Uh. Who, was, who did we work for in, in our last job? I literally cannot remember his name, only that he was a square man. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, I guess that counts. Uh, and um, I will say, uh, Moon Kid, whenever you were standing outside, like, you kind of got those and you started, like, going around the tree, and you realize this tree is, like, I guess a pretty good distance in diameter, but the tree on the inside seems to be, like, mildly, like, different, like, as if the tree itself is nothing more than a small hole. And the actual inside is just completely wide open with like an endless amount of forest just going into the distance. Yet the tree itself seems to be just a pretty decently sized trunk. Nothing is making sense here. Oh, oh I don't know if this is a panic attack I'm experiencing. This is none of this starting. I, uh, Can I slap Moon Kid? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you always may, you, you may always slap another player. That is always that is always an action. Before you slap him, I will actually go up to Moon Kid, and I will say something that I've been wanting to do with him for a bit. Oh no! Oh no! no. What are you doing? Seeing him freak out, I will uh, go up to him and say, "Breathe, my friendly monk. Remember the teachings of Arori." Right. I'm, I'm hoping you know who Aurori is since you're a monk. I don't believe you know. <laughs> no. Well, Aurori is like the god of the monks. Oh, that's oh, okay. Yeah. Our teachings are mostly a philosophical base that end logic and reason. Mean, this is that, the that's, exact that's opposite Arori. right now. <laughs> that is literally Aurori. <laughs> Oh really? Oh. Yes. Like, is is the god of knowledge yeah, and like meditation learn. and all that stuff. He is literally like a monk as a god, if that makes oh, sense. Oh, oh! I gotta read up on the actual lore. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's also uh, Arslan's main god for now. But when I say main god, I mean like that's just kind of like who he grew up like worshiping, if that makes sense. Uh, he's. I, I can link you the page for like you to read later if you want. Uh, but yeah, mostly no, just he's like the god of monks. I'll read that on that later. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, but I'll just like say, remember the teachings of Aurori. Breathe, right. stay calm, right. and observe. Okay. Right. Okay. Observing. There's always something to be learned. There's never a reason to not stay calm. All right. And we are right. in, even if this is a strange land, we are still in nature. All right then. Okay, right. Just a uh, stone nature, you know, in a place of spaces that make no sense. But all right. Okay. All right. Our world, our world of the prime material, is small in comparison to the entire, the entirety of existence. Right. Right. Your world is smaller than right here. <laughs> and um. As you kind of walk down these kind of paths, you you take twists and turns that don't seem to make any sense, but you do hear, as you kind of begin to hear, you begin to hear what sounds like, almost like a crying and wailing of a very, very, almost like a feminine type uh, creature, as if it is crying endlessly, as if the entire voice seems to be carried as an echo throughout the forest. So you just hear this, uh, And it seems to be echoing almost like a booming voice as you get close and this giant cave seems to open up and whatever seems to be crying seems to be coming from the inside of the cave. 
Does anyone have a plan? Uh, Charge uh, boy. Uh, I mean, wouldn't uh, hmm. I'm thinking of the exact opposite. If this cave on the outside looks big. What if it's small? Or is it? Hang on. You know, I'm still wrapping my head around this. Uh, uh, the size. Oh, no the plan. Uh, Moon Kid, I think you should go first. You know, you should you should have face your fears to overcome them. Oh, oh really? Really? Oh. Really, really, really. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> okay. I guess the really leave. funny. You're okay. Lead, okay. To the front then. Here we go. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Remember that. I mean. Refer to me in this current time as Sun Man. Okay. Moonhead. Uh, okay. Ah, so, uh, moon, moon Man. Ah, Sun Kid. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Man waiting in the sky. Uh, does everyone else follow him? Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm following from behind. Uh, just want to say I do have my drink potion in hand currently, in case since it is. Just I think I just like, yeah, I'm just gonna casually abase my shield and you know just to casually prepare fireball. You know, just I just want to let you know, Jim, I'm casually preparing <laughs> fireball. Just, just, I'm I will, oh my god, specifically also have a drake heart mutagen and <laughs> Everyone's I, up a dreadacule in hand. I see you can't copy. <laughs> Go ahead I make sure to I make sure to keep uh, Botan right next to me at all times. Sorry, I just got handed a letter, and in big block letters written on the face of it is "fucking magpies." I don't think the mailman had a great time with this. What? Uh, magpies like swooping in Australia. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's weird, that. Uh, let uh, me get... Go ahead. Giggles is gonna be scouting. Uh, okay. Uh, you may... Let me double check something. Let me just quickly, uh... Quickly double check one specific thing. Oh, it didn't upload. Uh... Wait one second here. And as you make your way inside uh, this cave here, uh, you open up into what looks to be, a, and then the wailing gets louder and like louder as you all kind of make your way inside, and you finally manage to. This is a tile, not a token. Okay, there we go. Uh, you make your way inside this cave, and you see what looks to be a, almost a rainbow cacophony of fungal spores that seem to be dotting the uh, cavern. And around it just seems to be almost every single color imaginable, as if a personal rainbow has came in and dyed each of the uh, mushroom fungus itself. And in the middle of all of it, you see a singular, uh, you see a singular creature almost what looks to be with a bare head and a body of pure just like roots and vines and it just seems to be wailing in this crying that seems to be almost an endless wail uh let me get uh i'm missing yeah, Andre. Andre. there we go Stop crying for a second. Just like that, huh? Just, just look so that you see this uh, creature look says, this. I, I cannot stop crying, for I have had something taken from me. Was you taken? cry, cry <laughs> quieter then. <laughs> what did you lose? Hey. I'll take that as a no. I'm gonna whisper to someone, hey, can one of you guys ask why it's crying? I don't wanna ask it directly in case it's yeah. name. Toro ask, what did he lose? Yeah. Just, 
Huh? I... I have lost... And it's just kind of it's in between these like roses. I have lost my beauty. My flowers that I have spent many centuries growing on my body have been taken by the pixies. And now I'm no longer the most beautiful creature in the forest. I must without my flowers. I am ugly. And now I have to reside in this cave. But my flowers do not have my body anymore. <laughs> I think that we need to do something to do with body positivity and uh, self-respect, but I, I am not a professional. Does anyone have any wine? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, wait. Actually, I do. I, I, <laughs> I have some... <laughs> I totally got oh, them. I kept them from our last mission when. Uh, we Who gave you alcohol as a reward? <laughs> <laughs> last mission, Gandy bought us uh, another player bought us alcohol. <laughs> I give it to Giggles. I am not very good at talking. Dang it! Who wants the Does alcohol? Any, does anyone here not have charisma as a dump stat? I, I, I have oh, it a dump stat, but but, but I have something I want to give her. Okay, look. Get the alcohol? Look, unless you use charisma as a core <laughs> stat, it's very hard to justify not dumping it. Just like intelligence, you just dump it. <laughs> yeah, except for intelligence is really good in this game, so... Does anyone have a charisma above 12? I have, I have the charisma. <laughs> I, give me the alcohol. <laughs> I will give you the alcohol. Take it, I just... What should I say? <laughs> I need to <laughs> <I need, laughs> myself personally. That's what you're, cool. you're very beautiful. Um, as you are, but we would like to help you with your flowers. Do you know who? You, do you know where they went? Yes, they took them to the hot springs and now portray themselves as the most beautiful creatures in the land. And now. I have to sit here in this cave. <laughs> and uh, they will basically say that they uh, they took them to the uh, they're over there by a kind of like a little bit of a hot springs type area. At least to a fey. I when we're found where we're gonna go next. Um, Joy, she she just she starts throwing up. She's like, I I hate pixies. Uh, what is your, uh, why are you so fixated on being beautiful? Because once you have beauty, the idea of losing it is so great that I cannot it's, bear it. <laughs> it's similar for lungs. <laughs> but, but, I gesture towards uh, our skeletal party member. It turns out you do not really need them. When you are beautiful, you will understand the pain that I go through. Are you calling me ugly? <laughs> what are you doing? I am the most terrible. I have lived. A... How, how long have oh. you lived? Uh, just Each really one quick. of my. <laughs> yep. Uh, did I notice anything odd about this room or area or not? Uh, you definitely, I mean, like, the whole, I mean, in terms of the actual thing, uh, the cave seems to be pretty, you do recognize the cave as to basically be, like, what a dryad's, like, personal home would look like. They say that it was a cave that they kind of had to retreat to, but looking around, you would notice that the cave basically just kind of looks like their home. It looks like something that they would retreat to if they ever need to, as you kind of see their vines almost begin to lick at the ground itself. As if it's absorbing the nutrients that comes from the uh, fungus and mold that seems to be growing inside this cave. Okay. Uh, there is a very sweet scent in the air. As even though you kind of you would normally associate caves with almost a damp and moldiness, 
You saw almost like a sweet, like, summer dew coming, as if each of the fungus itself has its own, like, sweating the fungal dew of a morning breeze in the sun. Almost seems to be delighting the air. Okay. Possibly Joy's, uh, doing something with that refined patch. Uh, I will give them, I will give them, uh, if you are offering them, I will see if they, uh, go under the effects of it. Well, um, they, they, they can, they can, they can, like, uh, request a fail. Like, if it's a drug. They don't understand the concept of drug. They just start eating it and, and they don't know how to make it work. Uh, they start kind of, oh. uh, they kind of, they almost like kind of wipe their tears with the, uh, with the thing, it's with the, like with the piss and, you know. They just kind of seem to be, uh, eating the, uh, passion. They're gonna say, uh, Oh, this is, this is not as beautiful as my flowers, but I was put it on my body. And you just kind of see them, instead of ingesting it, they just kind of, like, fixate it to Aww. their shoulder as, like, a little tiny vines from their mm. shoulder begin to sprout out and kind of wrap around the, uh, pesh as it kind of acts like an ornament on their shoulder. It only feels on a nap. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm gonna try whispering everyone. Okay, what if we just get the flowers back or get new flowers yeah. or something? Someone asked yeah. that. Oh. So, what if we got new them. flowers? I have spent centuries growing those flowers from my very body. I must have my own flowers as I have named them each individually. Ah, man. Joey will say. We should just have beat up the pixies anyway. You know, they 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 bully you. They they steal your things. Um... And if we Fine, give let's you get the silly back. woman her uh, silly woman. Wow, silly woman. She values beauty above uh, experience, uh, life. It is silly. I don't think it's a good idea right now. What does she care if we get her her flowers? Happiness. Do, 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 do. I'm just saying, uh, I'm trying to refer to you right now while hoping the, uh, per the uh, being near in this room next to us, uh, uh, when I say it's a better offer to go after the pixies for their flowers, probably. That is what I was saying. Yes, and returning said items to said being here, correct? What did you miss? The part about what we need to do? I'm, I am trying to think of my words carefully. You sound like you are going to uh, hurt yourself. This is, this is getting confusing for me. I'm afraid to say the wrong things out loud. Wait, 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 did I say that right? Wait, just go to the, the spring. Yeah. <laughs> She's just ugly. She wants to be pretty. Okay. Let's mm. just we beat up the pixies. Let's so can... And then beat up pixies. Up. I don't know. What? If I can never beat up pixies. Do you not think that we can beat up pixies? I say we can beat up pixies. Uh, the the, the, the pixies always beat up me. I'm not sure. Uh, 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 so, do we all agree for the hot springs? Yeah. That's yes. Spring. Ag agreed. Okay, you would like to go investigate the pixies instead of trying to attack this uh, lovely druidic lady here. Plus 19. Also, you're already gonna do it anyway. Add omen. <laughs> like, I'm already intimidated by the large size, so, you know. Uh, you step out of the, uh, cave as the wailings of the, uh, creature begin to continue, but 
as you step out of the cave, the you know, as you get further and further away, the uh, the wailing begins to get quieter and quieter. As you mentioned to the uh, you mentioned to the little fox creature that uh, you need to go see the hot springs, and they will say, uh, "Of course, I am very familiar with the pixies' hot springs." As we got all the creatures here, but some creatures seem to cause trouble for themselves. So, yes, I can take you to there. And let me grab the, uh, let me grab, uh, the fox again and take you on to the next scene. Next scene. Next scene. Well, there's the next scene. scene. You all know what that Man. means. You all I have know. so many scenes here. I hope you realize how many scenes I have. I know. You you <laughs> have for scenes walking. for walking. You have scenes for a portal. I like it. Is it possible? Why is Kapili here? <laughs> oh, watch Wong Kapili. Wong Kapili. Welcome to the hot springs. <laughs> you look like, uh, like you had more flesh on you for a second. <laughs> What? Oh god, ah! <laughs> oh, god. Get up, get up! <laughs> the Fey Wilds love to play tricks on the eyes. And also, as we're walking, can I try to recall knowledge if, uh, if Silver has any effect on, on Fey Wild? Uh, go ahead and give me a chance. Go ahead and give it to me. Actually, yeah, I'm kind of- I don't have the action ready on me. Uh, what would I have to roll for? Uh, give me a nature check. Okay. Check. Let's see if I can everything's gonna be everything's gonna be a nature check for like the one oh. person who's like heavily breathing like with their nature proficiency just like heavy breathing i'm untrained <laughs> nature proficiency um Wait, so i would like uh i would like um joy to give me a straight d20 roll uh-oh <laughs> Um, I will say, you can determine whether Moon Kid, uh, knows about the weakness of, uh, Cold Iron or not, as he is a little bit unsure, and you know that if you were to tell him that Faye were weak to Cold Iron, that would also include you in that. But he doesn't seem to know himself. I, I, I'll say that, uh, only Pixies ate it. Only pixies ate it. <laughs> I do have something here. I don't know if I should show it to you, Joy. I because mean, I mean, if it's a weakness, it, this it might it might affect you though. And I'm kind of scared. Oh, 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 oh. To... Only pixies. Okay. okay. So I turned. The, 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 in, in fact, at all, all the other sprites are resistant. Okay. Because the only thing I can have to probably show off is this thing. <laughs> it's like you. Is it? I mean. I mean, I'm holding it in my hand right now, Joy, in my palm of my hand, to try to cover it for me. But uh, this thing, do you think it could scare off uh, Pixies? What, what do you think? Um, maybe. They're pretty dumb. Maybe? Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm just holding on to this. I'm holding on to this. You, you should give it a shot. <laughs> I don't want to. I want to start a fight. That's the thing. But this is like my. I. Uh, this is like a thing. This is like a last effort thing. I don't know if it's gonna work. If it actually is a last effort. Hey, pixies love friends. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, and Joy, Joy will hand you something and say, "Uh, you should. Just, uh, won't you do that? Uh, uh, open this bottle." What is this? And then, just. Uh, run away. Run away with it? Uh, open, open the bottle and just, just drop it. Run away. Okay. Wait. Me... Wait okay. A after you do your torn trick in front of him. Okay, then. I'll... Okay, I'll, I'll keep this in mind, then. I and I just keep it on my self. Yeah. P -p -p all, uh, all, all the sprites, even the freaking pixies. They love trits and pranks, so. Uh, okay. I will say, uh, Auslan, as you begin to get to this new scene, uh, you definitely do know something, Asad. 
uh, you notice the ground itself seems to be getting warmer and warmer. You mentioned something about a hot spring, but you haven't gone to any kind of forest, you, uh, any kind of like mountain or any kind of like deep dungeon. You haven't really gone up or down in elevation, yet you do sense the ground being warmer and warmer as you get closer. And uh, I will say it is... Uh, let me go ahead and change. Uh, around here, it does seem to be uh, raining a little bit here. Let me get... Let me see what it is. Uh, rain top down. Let's see if that'll work. There we go. Uh, you do seem to get closer to these hot springs as... Well, at least they were referred to as hot springs. But it just seems to be getting like the, the ground. You almost you see a little bit of the uh, rain just kind of powder and pitter at the uh, ground. Um, as you do get closer, you do begin to see like a small little area that seems to be indented. Like it's a little tiny like step down somewhere. But almost the water seems to be having almost like a steam that seems to be coming off of it here. As it's like its own little reservoir of <clears throat> hot water. So how hot do you think that spring is? It's like, what do you think, guys? Do you think that's... I can't tell. Is it supposed to be just normal hot spring? Or are we thinking boiling? Are you planning on jumping in? No. God, no, I'm not. Then I'm why, not. what is the problem? Everything right now. Okay, I'm trying to calm down. I'm doing my best here. Uh, you do see, as you're kind of getting closer, you do see what looks to be the uh, two fa the two little pixies. Uh, they seem to be arguing about something. I'll be avoiding notice. You can yeah, certainly I'll be try. You. And I'll, I'll whisper to Moontan, now's your, now's your time. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want not, not that really, though. I'm also going to avoid notice. I want to avoid oh. notice. Is everyone just going to, like, everyone just avoids notice? Just... Everyone yeah, just yeah. kind of uh, stares uh, at him, arguing yeah. for like at least an uh, hour. Uh, and... I'll tell I'll tell you to now's your time. Try the frame. What do you want to do with these pixies? Get the. Uh... <laughs> awesome! Oh, Thank you for that. I'm oh, no, sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'll, I'll keep that. You're good. I'll keep it. You're oh good. My you're, God. Good. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're good. I'm a hero. Supposed to be blind. You're good. You don't have to keep it blind. <laughs> Yeah, you're okay, good. Well, if it's not blind, I'm hero pointing. <laughs> uh, no, you're good. Uh, give me, give me a blind one. I'll give you a blind one, Oslin. I, I will give you a blind one. Yeah, you have to roll another nat one. Yeah. You don't know. Yeah. Except so for I have to roll two, like, so I have two chances of rolling a nat one. Like, okay, let me see who actually passed. So who is it? Are y'all just like all just like stealthing up on these creatures and not even like, is anyone we... actually gonna interact with them? Or are y'all just gonna like I stealth think... when they fight? I'd say like, stealth. I'm here. Who yeah, if the anybody's most? going to go up and ask them about something, Giggles wants to be waiting with a bow drawn rather than. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Maybe uh, Joy can come with me, or Joy already rolled stealth. Never mind. Can I roll sense motive on these things to see if I think they're... Oh, there you go, Kiko. Sorry. Enemies? Uh, or... enemies is a subjective term. I don't like to define creatures as enemies or allies. That is for you to determine. Threats. Likely hostile? Uh, that is also subjective. I feel like that's not as subjective. Potential really threats is a... subjective. Yeah. I will say, you can tell... That they have a high power level, at least over nine thousand, at least over nine thousand. Uh, you you can tell just by looking like they seem to be kind of like arguing with each other a little bit, and you do uh rec go ahead do I do want you to go and give me the perception yeah. check. Like when I say threats, I I mean like. Do you think they'll pose a challenge like, to you? Yes. No 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 no. I mean like. Later, when you out. like are out like let's say like at a bar or something right? yeah and you see a guy who's like you f register as like oh they're like a threat so i should be like careful around them yeah. and be friendly or like oh they're like a threat so i should like avoid them or like yeah. oh they're like 
not uh, a threat, and I can just walk up and be like, hello, right? Go, like, go, something yeah, like that. Go and give me that uh, perception. Yeah. I don't mean like, uh, I, I want <laughs> to shoot at them, right? Like, I'm trying to gather information to determine if I want to, like, reveal myself or not. Um... <laughs> um you look at them and like they seem like i mean like they're, they're fighting with each other right like, they seem to be fighting with each other they, they they can't really like they seem to be talking in a very high-pitched tone so you can't really make out what they're saying um the cockatrices themselves uh you, you kind of you're not really too sure what they are but um you kind of see the birds kind of scratching almost lazily at each other um, though those chickens, like, you swear that those are, like, miniature dinosaurs. Like, you are so confident that those are, like, miniature dinosaurs, and, like, you are 100% sure that they could, like, rip all of you to shreds without a single bit of doubt, as these dinosaurs could, like, they're basically, like, the most evolved creatures in the entire forest. I see. I will. What was that? Oh, <laughs> You have been. Oh. You are one step away from becoming find one. You are scared of these like chicken dinosaurs. Mooncat, go, go, go! go. It's up to you. It, it's up to you. face your fears. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Use the bottle. What are they arguing about? Oh, yes, yeah, someone's. Uh, someone is. Uh, who was the, who said that? Me. Uh, you getting kind of closer. You kind of hear them saying, "Uh, no, I'm the prettiest. No, I'm the prettiest. Why would you say I'm the prettiest? Look at this flower I have. No, I'm the prettiest. Like, oh my gosh. Like, no, 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 no. You may have that flower, but my flower is like way better than yours." And they seem to be arguing about who is the uh, prettiest of both of them. As you see one of the face, you see one of the party says, "Well, why don't you ask the little pot? Why don't you ask him over there? What does he think? You, you over there? Who do you think is the prettiest of either of us?" Uh, they look directly at you, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> who do you think is the prettiest of either of us? Oh, uh, hello. Uh... <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sure you have a beautiful name. We are here to decide who is the prettiest of all of the forest here. And of course I have to obviously have to nominate myself. Well, no, I nominate myself. No, 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 no. How willing are you to fight for how pretty you are? <laughs> they say... Well, uh, she's fighting me right now, and I'm pretty sure, and I'm kind of, like, a little bit ticked right now, so, like, yeah, I'm, like, I know I'm way prettier than her. I just, we just need someone else to help us decide. Apparently, and she kind of looks down, apparently all little birds here don't want to give their opinion of us. So, we're gonna have to ask you, who do you think is prettier of us? Bottom one. Uh, upon, uh, saying that, uh, this Faye, she says, uh, how dare, this is the other one kind of smokes, how dare you think that she is prettier than me? I will show you how pretty I can be. And, uh, she begins to, uh, pull out her little bow, as she is very angry with you at choosing the other Faye. Other face, what's the other face saying? Uh, the other face seems to be very confident and just kind of smoking a little bit. Hey, other face, what's your name? I am Alaria. Your name's Alaria. And uh, this pixie is about one second from shooting you. Prove it. Make sure you're the last one alive. <laughs> okay. Uh, they're just going to take a singular shot at you. Initiative? Is it initiative? Yeah, I would uh, you see, 
Uh, so you see, you see them shoot a bow at you, and the bow managed to land right between your feet. Wounded. It's time for your prank. Wounded. I think now it's initiative. Right, okay, yeah. now is initiative. Uh, and can I roll stealth? Yeah, yes, you may. Stealth. Did everyone pass except me? Oh, hold on. Uh, no, they did not. Oh. You just happened to be the one that they yeah. noticed the soonest. Uh, also, uh, let me go ahead. Okay, you're good. The initiative button is not working, that's cool. Uh, I did ask for it, um... Why? <laughs> Why do I get the nat 20? Oh my god. Hey, return fire! <laughs> I, I did not decide what to cast. You can just delay. Uh, let's see. So, let me double check to see... Uh, I mean, honestly, even if they did see everyone else, uh, she is very interested in you specifically. As you see this arrow go right between your feet. They rolled a terrible initiative. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me get the, the uh... Let me get the actual... Uh, let me get this. Uh, I need to check... There we go. Okay. Uh, Andres, you go. You have now decided to choose one of them to be more beautiful than the other. And they're both attacking us? Uh, no. Only the top one is attacking they're, me. Oh, okay. One of them's a, yeah, Only the top one. The bo bottom one. It's fair game. I don't know what they're gonna do, but I hope they're gonna help. Um, first one. I don't think Vision of Weakness will help. And I'd rather save my... There we go. So Soul Siphon on that one. Uh, first. Okay, uh, it will uh, make a... Is it the top one, right? Yeah, top one. Critical oh, fail. Oh my god. It's drain oh. two and takes... Four, four plus drain. Uh, it takes the two damage. No, yeah, it takes four damage. Four damage. Four damage, oh, yeah, four damage. And drain two. Drain two. Uh, I let will... me go ahead and find that. Drain two. It's, um, he, he loses... He loses two HP level. Yeah. What was the value of... How much HP did it lose from drain? Uh, I don't know what, um... Yeah, it's just... I don't know how many, how much HP it's like this is. It just, it just, times level. It just two times level. Oh, uh, oh, two times their level? Yeah. Uh, is it at the start of their turn, at the end of their turn? Is it, it happens. Right now. It just, it just happens right now? Okay, uh, they lose 8 HP. They also take a penalty to... Yeah, there's like oh. a, the, the status is right there, so I guess... 12 stamp, okay, that could have been better. And then. David. Mm -hmm. Or oh, I should just pick a fortitude. It is really, you lose a number of hit points. E oh, you said equal to your level times the drain. Okay. Uh, what is the, does the drain value go away now? No. It's just there. Okay, it like, what does it activate fortitude. again? Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, and it's just oh, okay. held each other for a few days now. Critically succeeded. Drained is typically like a status that stays for quite a while. Okay. As long as it's like the HP doesn't just keep going down. I'm oh, sorry in advance when pixies are evil. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Um. I should not be standing here. It's fine. Uh, Joy. Uh, you see after you kind of heard says. Oh my gosh, you didn't have to hurt her, she's my sister! How dare you! Yeah, oh. Joy's gonna yell out, You're both ugly, I'm way prettier than all of you. And, uh, she's gonna draw and throw a javelin that is poisoned with yellow, or giant centipede poison. Oh, I can't draw. Oh my god, what's happening to me? Uh, let me just. 
Uh, let me check your chi real fast. So you're trying to draw the. Uh... Uh, I, I'm, I'm just lagging. I'm lagging a lot, so it happened a lot of times. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see a bunch of javelins. Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, make a strike. It should be under your strike actions now. Yeah. Good to do. And it, it should be. Uh, uh, I was hitting, so. That's gonna be a critical right. miss. Oh, uh, tragic. And uh, what's it called? Oh, I'm, I'm I'll say you have two friend. actions left. I'm assuming that I'll assume that you had the javelin at the ready. Okay, then uh, she'll command misery to uh. Oh, uh, let me misery. get the free movement. Uh, there you go. Oh. You're good now. Yeah, we'll run over here. You should and... be able to drag and drop now. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna hide. Okay. Oh, oh you're good. You're good. He's got a row. Don't move it. Don't move it. Okay. Uh, okay. I will list out. Yeah. Um. Nice. Uh, Moon Kid, it's your go. Okay. So uh, first, I, I'm, I see Andre in trouble, so I'm gonna start running up to here, to this area here. <laughs> that was me. I'm going to pull out the, my silver coin here, the, the specific one here, and I'm going to start demoralizing uh, that one, that thing right there. Okay. I'm going to say, stay, stay back. The item in my, uh, the item in these palms are dangerous to you. Oh my. God. Okay. Uh, they are probably. I mean, that's just a uh, success. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. just a success. You credit. You credit barely. <laughs> it's a success. Oh, is it? No. Yeah, it is. A, oh. Yeah, it's a success. Congratulations! Um. You, <laughs> you succeeded. <laughs> I actually succeeded. You succeeded. You got a success. Congratulations! Let me pick the phone. That's why. Also, EKS fine. The moral is on chain. I can't believe you actually managed to. Uh, no, no, no. That, that's not the. That's not the oh, issue. I was trying mind. to figure out why it's a success. Is it just the DC is just that high? The DC yes. is that high. The, the DC. DC is that high. So uh, it would have been. A, it would have been a fail on a twenty. Yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, I think that's my turn. I moved. I pulled out the coin as an action, and then I demoralized it, showing off the coin. Uh. <laughs> this creature. Um, as it is, it, this creature is going to delay his turn until after the, uh, pixie. So, it is going to take it, it's going to delay his turn until its rider has given it a command. Uh, which means it's going to be Giggles Go. Uh, I mean, did I successfully, I guess I wouldn't know if I'm successfully hidden from them or not. Uh, uh good. I am going to get into point blank st shot stance. Mm -hmm. uh, why is my macro not working? No, not gonna work. There we go. We do work. And then I am going to fire at the top pixie. Yes. Uh, you can decide. Oh shit! If it's flat footed, that's a twenty-two. Nope. They saw Oof. all of you. Except one. One of you they did not see. Do you know who that is? Uh, you all feel you're pretty, pretty stealthy. Oh, uh, that's not good. I'm uh, let me double check. Oh, uh, no, two of you. Two of you actually passed to the, uh, stealth. And then I'm going to multi-attack penalty. Oh, yeah, that hits. Okay, uh, the pixie's not looking too good. The pixie's really not looking too good. I think the pixie should take 20 damage. That drained really did a number on it. And the end turn button isn't working. Oh, well, then let me go and do it. Bow strikes, it's your go. Yep, uh the potion to myself and come up with my actions, but I will go into stance. Mm -hmm. and then move. Try targeting the pixie. Mm -hmm. It is flat footed yeah. to you. Well, it is? Oh, okay. You were the uh, only one, that, you were one of the two people that actually had passed those stealth check. That had I stealth, okay. 
You rolled a 28. No. <laughs> he strikes on your fire. We'll make this. Force damage just to make sure. And we're gonna blurry. 27. And the one of those ones a miss. Oh, the other one's a miss? Uh, the 20 was, yeah. Oh, it's all, it was flat footed, so that's why yeah. it hit. So it's gonna take 28 damage and needs to make a fire kit save. Uh, that is, that is going to, you managed to kill the top pixie. Oh no! Oh god, it's getting flashbacks. Uh, yep, the top pixie is down. And that's Unless you decide on non lethal, but. Yeah, I could not. Yeah, I could not lethal it. Do you think we should non lethally knock them out? Do you think it's a better option here? It's up to you. Yeah, I'll non lethally knock it out then. Use my attacks and stuff. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring it over here. Uh, the entry button. That's not a. Here. Yep, that's. I just need to. Yep, I know. I'm gonna give it one HP. Okay. Josie, I will. Harder, don't worry. I had my Dreader Ampule and my Mutagen in hand, so I will hand, uh, feed Photon the Mutagen. Double else right now. Which gives the Mutagen effect. And then, I will spend an action to... Or actually, no, wait. Now we get to do some questions about mechanics okay mm -hmm. so i'm going to post a device stratagem right now for you to look at but basically the question that i've asked you right now is i'm investigating the crimes the what Do these guys crimes like the crimes yeah the crimes of the quest that we're like doing. yeah that was my investigation mm -hmm. are these guys related to the crimes yes they are. So that would mean that they are a subject of the lead yep. that I am pursuing. Okay, so I that means devise a stratagem pursue... would be a free action. Yep, you are I correct. only pursue a lead on either a creature or a place. I'm pretty sure you can do things. Uh, because otherwise you can... It does say a foe's weakness. Say... Yeah, it says a foe's weakness. Not a area. No, 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 so. I'm talking about an investigation. I'm talking about the the, 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 the the pursue a lead. Yeah, you do have to pursue a lead on one specific. So you could pursue one of these three people that are left. No, 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 no. You're, the... It's typically a single creature item or small location, but your GM might allow a different scope. Um, I would say yeah. they mentioned the pixies, so it could have been either of the pixies. It would work on either of the pixies. Because you didn't, it didn't mention no, 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 anything no, no. of cockatrice. So, uh, okay, well, actually, we're going to have to retro. So, earlier I said I was investigating the crime that the... Yeah. That the that the king sent us on. Yes. Um, so that's what, that was my intention. Yeah. I did not realize that you can't be as ambiguous about GM discretion. So I'm not, like, I didn't investigate, like, these specific pixies. I investigate, I was investigating the crime, so, uh, like, so how do you want anyone, to... anyone involved in the crime at all, you get the bonus to. Okay, so... Is that what I'm understanding? Is that what I'm understanding? That, Anything... Yeah, that, that's, that's kind of, like, uh, how I would rule it myself. I um, would say the, the, the cockatrices were yeah, not like, involved. I, I, I guess you could say, like, I'm investigating the, the criminal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the pixies, are criminals. I will yeah. say that the pixies seem to be the criminals. The cockatrices just seem to be their pets. Like they're just wild animals that just seem to be yeah. uh, apparently at the wrong place at the wrong time right now. Okay, so that means that the vice strategy would be a free action. Mm -hmm. I'll do that as a free action. Yeah, and I have this, which lets me do a free recall knowledge check every yep. time I do a device strategy. Yep. So I will do that, I'm assuming nature. Yep. Do you want a weakness or an ability? I would like to know um, if they're uh, between their saves, what the, the save values are. Mm -hmm. If I can't note that, like all three, then I would primarily be focused on do they have worse reflex saves or worse fortitude saves? Uh, their fortitude save is definitely the worst, and I will give you it as an 8. Okay. 
And do I get to also know about will saves or at all or no? Uh, will save is a plus 12. You would notice that the, you would just notice from a moonkin intimidating. Uh, yeah, they have a 22 will DC. Okay. Oh, so he has one off. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, my one off. <laughs> okay. And then, because I, uh, did, um, oh, wait, my dread ant is not equipped, even though it should be. But, uh, because I'm doing device to stratagem, I get to check to see, uh, if it would hit or not. Yep, I do know uh, that. Uh, I saw Claw yes. use it a bunch. So well, I you will... You get to know what you will roll. You just have to yep. assume that, that you know yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, I, I am very familiar with this. I saw Claw use it a lot in my, uh, tournament game. They use it to get a lot of crits. Uh, you would roll a 16. Yes. So... I will not use that. I will... So I still have two actions left. I will use one of them to command Botan. Botan gets two actions. Uh, she has 30... Actually, does she still have 35 feet? Or does she have more now that she's mature? Uh, mature, mature doesn't still increase speed. Feet. Yeah. Uh, 35... And then over here, and then I will use my third oh, action okay. to. That was that was final sacrifice. Level what are you one. talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? The, I don't know. What, the, don't, yeah, don't 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 meta game. You know, don't meta game. Draw don't meta game. Oh, don't, have final sacrifice. Here. Don't don't meta game though. <laughs> Like, Moonkid yeah. remembers the final <laughs> sacrifice. I'm not metagaming if he remembers what happened or what Hard Noggin did. This is why he's paranoid. Yeah, just what, what are you talking about? What are you, um, I'm, don't metagame. I'm trying to click end turn and it's Oh, not uh, if you need, uh, just let me do the end turn. Um, uh, this pixie, seeing as Yola kind of, uh, you know, she is going to, uh, she's going to fly up about, yeah, let's give her, let's give her 30 feet in the air as uh, she's gonna fly up and she's going to shoot at uh not andre because andre said that she was beautiful uh she's going to attack uh Valstrax for uh attacking directly at her sister Yo, okay. oh it's gonna be a miss no. um let me double check one, one other thing yeah it has one more action um volley to which makes it call yeah that's very good Oh, it's 30 feet up in the- god damn it. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't have ranged attacks, so no. Uh, she is going to, after that, she's gonna just do- uh, she'll just do another arrow. She, she, she's pretty confident with her, uh, with her longbow. And she's not doing oh. too good well. Uh, it is now the cockatrice's turn. Uh, this cockatrice, uh, it kind of hisses at your tiger. Um, it really does not like it. It's gonna hiss at your tiger as it kind of sees it as a larger predator. Um, and it is going to kind of like, and like go over here. And kind of, uh, okay, I think they could, this is, I think they could attack from right here. I don't remember how. It's a very smallish kind of wall. Like, like it thinks that, just that question, it thinks the tiger is a bigger predator and then goes to the eight foot tall dragon. Uh, it is afraid of felines. Chickens uh, are afraid of cats. Ah, uh, fair enough. Then. I'll say it's right here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it do that. Can uh, you, you tell that to my chicken because he keeps on attacking the cat. Uh, that is gonna be a just barely miss. Only if I did. I, I could have added the flanking, but I'm like, nah. You you got up in the corner, so. Mm. Uh, another one. Oh. No, one I did damage. one damage to you, uh, Valstrax. One damage. I need a fortitude. I need a fortitude save. Oh damn it! <laughs> I need a fortitude save. Ooh, just barely. Uh, let me double check just to make sure. Is that a success? Uh, let me double check. <laughs> oh, uh. No reroll. I need no. to know if it's a reroll. It is not a success. Okay, then hero point in that. Is that a crit fail? 
You were slowed too. What? Mm. Oh my gosh. But this other one does it. I'm stuck like this for at least a day, so. I'll be just out of the. I like how it says uh, on critical failure, uh, the crit on, but uh, on critical failure, the petrification is permanent. What? That's only after the 24 hours. You'll be fine, I'm sure. You'll be- you'll be fine, uh... Uh, just for the sake of not being too mean to Valve Strax, uh... It's incapacitation, if it makes it any better. Uh, it incapacitation, it is a- that cockatrice was level 4. Damn it, never- wait. Yeah. Oh, that's Yippin' Yeah. Never mind. Yippin' Yeah, level 5. Maybe uh, we're just taking that and just- Moon Kid! That is a oh nat 20. One. Oh, what? The one! The <laughs> one! Uh, damage. Take the one damage as well as I need a fortitude saving throw. Alright, here we go. Da, 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 da. Uh, you are oh. slowed one. Uh oh. Ooh, okay. Did I just drag slow on me? Yeah. Yep, I dragged it. Uh, and that's gonna be the uh, next attack. And it's gonna luckily miss. Andre, it's your go. Okay. I'm gonna. Can I see here? Uh, you can see, you can see them up in the air, yeah. No, 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 no. Like, from, through the walls, I can... Uh, no, you would not be able to see this cockatrice right now. Okay, what about this cockatrice? Nope, you are hot, you are behind a wall right now. Uh, You're gonna have okay. to move. Okay, I don't have enough action for that. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay that makes sense. Oh, I do see the cockatrice. Like, I can see it. Um, it has... What cockatrice do you see? Uh, oh wait, is this? Yeah, Andre, you don't see. Uh, uh you don't I actually see them. See it. Uh, it would have greater cover. Whatever you need, it's gonna have greater cover for me. Like you, uh, you, you want to move, but. But like I know it's there. You think it's there? Uh, sure. Well, good enough. Uh, ghoul, please. Oh, that you can oh, do. Yeah. Yep. Ghoul. Oh yeah, if that becomes permanent, I would just respect this character at that point. <laughs> yes. Honestly, that gives me an excuse to play another character I had in Dawson. Oh no. <laughs> in mine. I mean, technically that's a weird- it's not technically death, it is uh... It yes, wouldn't yes, technically yes. count towards dying. It's a fate worse than death. <laughs> you just become, become a permanent like... statue. A uh, ghoul, <laughs> okay. You become a Dawnhaven statue. Yeah. <laughs> EK, that's, that's 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 a valid thing, right? That I can do that, right? Um, EK. Uh, I'm let me sorry, give you what? Just make Valtrax a permanent statue, because technically yeah, his character didn't die. He's just permanently a statue. Uh, does that mean he can re-roll the character without actually having to consider it die? It's someone else. It's not death. It's death. It's not dead. Re-rolling a character. Respecting. <laughs> Respecting a character. Respecting a character shifts the forces of fate and timelines <laughs> and shit oh, no. to retroactively fit in a new character in place of the old character. So Valstrax wouldn't have even existed and instead it would be the replacement character. But yeah, but if your character dies, you can't re-roll them, right? You can play as their brother. Yeah, if they die, they die. So that's, that's what the joke is about, that if they become a permanent statue, they can re-roll it because it's not technically dead. Death, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, why do you guys, like, <laughs> keep poking these holes in the- Why can't you all just, like, have fun? How much <laughs> would you hate me if I pointed out that if I put my arrows into, like, several different stacks of nine arrows, then they give me no encumbrance? <laughs> 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 uh, you do have control of this ghoul. Would you like? What would you like it to do? I don't. I can't figure out how to give it you control of it. Okay, it's. I need to like do its attack roll. Okay, it's gonna do its attack. Yeah. Uh, uh, can, it, can it even reach from there? Oh, the oh, you're do oh it I can't reach. Do jaw. I wanna do the jaw. Uh, jaw. Okay. Uh, jaw would be the same thing. So it's just one. Let me double check. 
Uh, yep, it'll hit, so it's gonna do 1d6 instead on the cockatrice. Six, and then wool fever saving throw. Oop, uh, I will add that. And paralysis! So okay. what level of spell did you just use? Uh, second level. And you- are, are you sure you're reading that way? Yeah, ghouls are a first level creature. Uh, it says ghoul is a- Yeah, I thought summon a dead only- I thought the second level let you do a zero level. Oh no, it is isn't, it's isn't it? level one. Okay, yeah. Uh, it'll make a fortitude save. Uh, one for the... Okay, that's the thing that doesn't matter. Then the second one for paralysis. Uh, let's see. Ooh, it's par paralyzed oh, that's one. That's still a success. That's still a success. So okay. Incapacitation. Uh, it does get ghoul fever, however, I'm assuming. Yeah, I don't think it matters, but we'll see. Uh, Joy, it's your go. We're gonna draw. Just un unleashing a zombie plague on Feywild. Yep. Gonna... Everything is fine, I don't know what you mean. Everything is fine. I'm just leaving me a Major's gonna carry me mm -hmm. over... We're, we're just not ahead. Okay, yep. okay, okay. Um, okay. Um, maybe here. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm trying to move them separately, but like they're, they're linked together. Uh, you have to you just drag and drop a box into like nowhere. Like just drag and drop a box anywhere, and oh, then it'll just, separate yeah. them. Yeah. And then I'm gonna try to hit the cat trees. Draw a javelin okay. and throw it. Yeah. Twenty five. That'll hit. Okay. Image. And I need a saving throw. Of uh, what kind? Forty. Okay. Forty two. It fails. It has one d six poison. Oh, sorry. I'll let you do that. Um. It, it happens at the end of its turn. Oh, thank you. And, uh... It's already flat, Yep. Um... I, I, I'm gonna move to this corner of this base room. And I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try to hide. Okay. No, just... Mood kid, it's your go. I'm gonna go... Into Stoke Flame. Here we go. Giggles, did you get a turn last turn? Yeah. I missed it, right? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, he missed. And then, Furio blows. Straight up. Here we go, flashing sparks. Yep. That'll hit. Nice. Save. Yep. Oh, wait, that's not incapacitated. Wow. Okay. Well, dang it. <laughs> it. Stun never okay. works. Again. Yeah, stun yeah. never works. Anyway, second one. Here we go. Another right, That'll hit. Oh, Another it save. is not Garbage. it is not looking very good at all. It is uh it is really not looking very good. Doesn't it make one port save for every Yes. Hit? It's stunned one. Stun one, alright. I can maybe get right. two chances to stun it. Either yeah. Of it. So yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh is that gonna be what is that? How many? Oh yeah, uh, you do have one action less because you all slowed one. By the way, Moon. Yeah, I do actions. I flame yep. and then three of those. So that's it. Uh, giggles, it's your go. You can't see any right. of the cockatrices. Or the yeah, fae. Yeah, but I can see this. I can't. Yeah, I'll say you can see the fae. They they went up really yeah. high up in the air. No, I uh, did break out a Pythagoras calculator, and it is within fifty-two feet of me. Yep. Good job. <laughs> That is actually uh, really surprising because it was really close to not being. I know. Uh, Diagonals is yep. yeah. Rounding. No, for the sake of attacking, it's not. Um, but yeah, no, I'm going to hit it with. I'm going to activate my bane ammunition because I forgot to do mm -hmm. it last time. Not that it matters because I missed. And then I'm going to strike. I'm That's going to missed. hero point that. That's. God damn it! <laughs> they so they do not they do not have very much HP. Just, yeah. Just second attack. That'll Why hit. Why is it always the second attack? <laughs> <laughs> it's the map. Okay, uh, sh they take eight. Ignore the other pixie. 
Oh, you killed the pixie again. Yeah, okay. I, I know. It's it's. I think somehow I accidentally got their HPs connected. That is my touch. Okay, uh, Valstraxis, your go. What are you gonna do? I'm really excited to turn. Oh no, it's because I, I think Giggle has both of them. Uh, what would you? Oh, what would? Blowing the blows. Oh! Okay. Ooh, Ooh twenty six off there. And he's so take... to save. Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and give it the old fortitude save. Yes. Oh. Very exciting turn. I didn't get to do one thing. It's a, it was yeah. a very potent thing. Oslin, it's uh, your go. That was all of Valstrax's actions? Yes, he has slow, slow two. two. Oh yeah, slow, alright. It does go down at the beginning of your turn to zero, I'm pretty sure. It goes down by one. Uh, it goes to, you, it lo you lost two actions though. One. Yeah, so I should be still slow one. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it goes down by one each turn. I am going to... Just roll the... Or, I'm going to first do the... Uh... Recall knowledge check because I'm doing device strategy and that yep. gives me recall knowledge. Oops, that's supposed to be blind. Sorry. Uh, why do you keep blind. rolling low? Uh, what, what do you? I which one do you only roll low when it's not blind? Trust, trust. trust. Which, when it's blind, uh, it's always high. It's which always are you recalling high. knowledge? Oh, oh wait, did, did, hey Arslan, don't uh, you have a thing where you don't you have a thing where you share like you do a plus one? That's a reaction. Uh, yeah, that's a reaction. What are what are you recalling knowledge on? Um, the pixies. Um, I'll I'll take whatever I can, and uh, like whatever you want to say. Okay, I always say um, I also always say an ability or uh I always say an ability or that. So, uh, that, here's an ability. And I also need to know if it's a crit success. No. Or okay, that's that's all I need. Okay. Uh, sprinkle pixie dust. one of the following special effects instead of dealing damage. Charm, which is terrible. Memory loss, terrible. Sleep, not that bad because of incapacitation. Duel. Not that bad. Just damage. Okay, so I will now check my roll. Give it something high. 18. 18. So I'll definitely use that. I will. What's the bonus? Uh, I I didn't put in the bonus because I can use whichever weapon I want. Yep. So that would be how many eight, I believe. Yep. Because yep. my yes, my dread ampule is ten. Mm -hmm. So I'm using my dread ampule on that. Okay. So is it twenty eight a crit? Nope. Uh, assuming the yeah. pixie, nope. Wow, they have more than 18 AC. Okay. Well, it just takes, uh... Oh, oops, I think I rolled the crit. Yeah, that's crit, sorry. Whoops, uh, then I will give it back 7 HP. Yeah, just give it back 7 HP, and, and it is Frightened 1. Maybe 7 plus... No, it should get 8, right? Is it? Say um... 8, 15 divided by... No, because I'm looking uh, at the seven. rolls itself. Yeah, you can look at the no, rolls itself. 7 uh, plus... One yeah, seven. damage doesn't get. Uh, uh, it'd be two. It'd be seven. No, actually, the first dice was two, so it'd just be two plus one. Yeah. So, but the first. Yeah, the first. I get precision damage. I get precision damage from device strategy. Oh, okay. The precision damage is not from the crit. Oh, okay. So yeah, it'd be. That. So yeah, I give it. Okay, so I get one more HP back. Uh, what else are you doing, Olsen? Is this thing mindless? Uh, yes. Okay, so it doesn't uh, take the splash. Also, the pixie's up in the air, so it wouldn't splash anyways. It is 30 feet up in the air. Oh, you're talking about the... Wait, it's 30 oh. feet up in the air. Does your... What did you hit it with? Bombs have a 20 foot range. Oh. It's 20 feet up in the air, Oslin. It's, thir it's 30 feet, feet up in the air. It's yeah, I think it still hits him with a negative. It does hit, because they did get a 28. I'm just letting him know that it is 30 feet up in the air. I didn't realize that. You're good. Are we fighting flying enemies? 
Because you have a party level of like average of three because there's like three level fours with you all. You're not supposed to fight plotting enemies until at least level five or whatever. They're pixies! Um, spring range weapons. <laughs> spring range weapons. Yeah. <laughs> the beginner will... box has a freaking flying creature in it, okay? Yes, I in mean... a cave. And you're supposed to run it super dumb, but whatever. <laughs> um, fuck, if they're flying, then I'm going to drop my rapier and you did... draw my bow. Okay, is that your last? Because you did, you did yeah, hit it with the bomb. Um, yes, these I... things have super low HP, by the way. Um, so this cockatrice here, he's really, really not looking uh, very healthy. Um, this pixie knows that this cockatrice just is really not looking very, uh, healthy right now. Oh god, he's got a final sacrifice! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh, all you frontliners, all of them up this, this, this cockatrice, and like, it's, in this, it's almost like a mindless, this pixie has charmed this cockatrice to do exactly what it wants it to do. Uh, the pixie is going to have it go over here. And it's gonna cast Final Sacrifice on it because pixies are evil. If you annihilate Joy with a Final Sacrifice, <laughs> how much damage uh, is it gonna do? Uh, I need everyone to give me a basic reflex saving throw, not including that chicken up there. Nineteen is a failure. Oh my god! I hear I'm pointing into an eighteen. I love, I love play. Oh. Eleven points to my right. <laughs> I am nowhere near that blast. Uh, so let me see. Uh, also, that is also for you to uh, both Joy and your dog. Oh, uh, yeah. It is have the real 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 real. They do yeah, have a uh, plus can, two to cover. They do have a plus two can, to cover. Can someone else uh, roll it for me? Because I'm What's having my, my internet. Uh, I can. Uh, yeah. Joy, here is your reflex saving throw. You've got a 25. What? Rerolling for both time. Okay. If I pass, then I'll keep it. If not, I'll hear a point. You're good. Okay, how much? Uh, Misery, I'm gonna just not. I'm not gonna kill him out. Okay, so both. I think Misery will die no matter what. Who uh, always failed? Uh, who always failed after all of the hero? Like, how many hero points were just used? Like, at Did least. I, am I the only one that technically failed this? Though? I think you are the only yeah. one that actually failed wait this. A, wait, a, wait a second. I'm not even in the blast radius. Oh. Yeah, you are. It, you are. It's the blast radius is a little bit awkward. It's uh, actually, are you? It's, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm uh, I'm not let me double there. check. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I moved it down one. Going to move the blast radius. Nope. Out. Uh, it's because I I didn't want to hit the other the cockatrice. Blast radius is twenty feet. Uh, I'm, that's why. Blast radius, and I don't get affected then. What? Hey, left come on. Uh, I need everyone to take uh. Half of 25. Yeah, I don't get the damage then. Oh no, my temp HP. What a what a horrible crime. Oh no. <laughs> and the cockatrice is dead. No. The cockatrice is 100% dead. These kids are getting flashbacks to the last time you saw this spell. Just, yeah, this is, uh... Oh, that is, uh... That is, yeah, the, the cockatrice is sadly gone. Sadly, the cockatrice is gone. Taken from us too soon. Honestly, like y'all did, y'all managed to use like almost every single person. I think used to be your point, except like a... I, did, yeah. I, I didn't. Don't get two. I didn't. didn't. I didn't need to technically because I'm not in Uh, did you this. Your point back. Yeah, uh, I, did, I did it back. Okay. Yep. Uh, this cockatrice. Uh, exactly. you already know what's gonna happen. You're the only one that you can see right now, so. That, that is hits. gonna be a 21 to hit, Spellstrax. That hits. My AC is 21. Okay, uh, it's gonna roll- it's gonna only do two damage to you, Spellstrax, that's it. Oh, that's twice as much damage as it's gonna yeah. do so. Yeah, I, I need a- oh, I, 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 I actually- Oh, well, you're good. I was healed. Yeah, okay. Uh, I need a fortitude saving throw. Yeah. That's a fail. That is a fail, you are now a slow to one more. <laughs> okay, is that, that's, not, that's not critical? Okay. Nope. And it has more attacks than Smith. More attacks. Uh, it's gonna do a second bite. Oh, not that one. That's oh. a dog fishing. Uh, that's that a 24. Is. Oh no. It deals only oh. one damage, Valstrax. It's only one damage. 
Imagine if you guys had shield block. That's a. Oh, no. Um. I'm gonna, oh, how many I'm gonna hero making... points do you have? <laughs> that was all of them. I'm gonna start making new character because I have slow. It, it's not actually as bad as you think. It's not as bad as you think. Uh, like you, you can. Just, just, I want you to new character. No, you just, you just, you all petrified, uh, you all petrified for 24 hours. For 24 hours yeah. yeah, if you're, you're petrified for 24 hours, um, assuming that, assuming that nothing kills you in the next 24 hours, you should be fine. Uh, Andre, it's your go. Oh I'm not god. even gonna make this cockatrice uh, attack. The cockatrice moves over to Moon Kid. Oh my god. Yeah. Where did the, the cockatrice go? go? Where did it go? Oh, here, okay. Wait, what? Wait, that's the cockatrice? Yep. Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, Ghoul. What can Ghoul do? Ghoul, okay. Ghoul is oddly enough an ally in this situation. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Survive without a the final sacrifice killed. Uh, there was two no. of them. Oh, oh I I'm it. trying to. I mean, there's only one thing the Ghoul can do. Go here. Yep. Uh, actually, nah, I don't want to lose it. Goes here and then jaw. Yep, and then jaw. Yeah. That's an eleven. Crit missed. That's fine. I think I don't care about it. And then you have one action left. I have one action left. Still help me if you say shield. It's... No, I don't have shield. As I am still deciding. Uh, Joy, are you back yet? By the way. Oh, give me the the ghoul needs to make a reflex saving throw. Uh. I did. I did already. Okay, you did. Already. Then it would have taken. Did it take half? half? It okay, half. I'm just gonna give it like 10 HP going. There we go. I should have 8 HP. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my it's bad. not going to be attacked, most likely, anyways. Okay, Raven Field is too far. Uh, shoot. Okay, Sudden Blight. Uh, is, can I angle it in such a way that the Cockatrice also takes the Sudden Blight? Um. 20 foot burst. Each okay. living creature no. in an area? Oh. Do you want to do that? Are you sure you want to do that? Okay, I, there's no area. There's no area for me to get moved. You can- I could say you can cast this in a burst in the air. I will say, you can have it where you only hit the pixie. I will give you that. Oh, wait! That's Perfect. two actions. <laughs> that's also Perfect. two actions. You oh, moved, right. oh, and here's the ghoul. And then, okay, that's why. That's- I knew something was missing. Okay. Uh... Guidance to... Uh, Moon Kid. Yeah. Uh, Joy, are you good? Um, my internet's dying, but I can't do anything anyway. Like, I just moved uh, to the corner. Uh, they were- I, I they are to... very damaged right now, like, uh, I will yeah, stream- Yeah, I think I have, like, 3 HP. Yep, uh, they were 3 HP right now. Uh, I will yeah. go ahead and stream this for you. You can go ahead and- Yeah, I- I- I don't have any action, because I don't have, uh, I- I- I don't have any things to do, because I don't have any javelins. Uh, seeing- uh, I'll- I'll go ahead and give you an attack. I'll- I'll- I'll let you just- I'll let you get a check on the uh, thing just because you are you. Um, well, what I was gonna do is uh, I, I have a my, my thrower is bandolier. There's a two action activity mm -hmm. I can recall the javelin to me. Yep. Uh, I'll go ahead and do a strike on it, and you got a nat one. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Moon Kid, it's your go. <laughs> this cockatrice is this cockatrice is kind of looking at you a little bit funky. Okay, I am now. Well, I have all my actions, so I'm gonna hit it with a flurry of blows on this thing. Okay. Let's give a plus one on one of them. Here we go. And the flashing spark. Here we go. Oh God. my. My. Well, I, come... I can't help you. Also, a reminder, you do not get a hero point at the top of the hour. You only get three for the session. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember that. Okay, well, here comes the second flurry of blows. Where's my... What the... <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I think uh, my now remaining actions is I need to start moving out, so I'm gonna, okay. gonna get out of here. You're gonna get out of fireball range? <laughs> yep, getting out of fireball range. I am moving out here, and I guess... Hmm. You have a lot of movement. 
I was if you go like all the way over here, like it, you'd be basically immune. Right now, I kid's terrified right now. He almost turned to stone, and uh. Valstrax is turned to stone. You know. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's terrified right now. Ah, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> One action left. Dang it! What did I? Okay, how about the? Oh my gosh! I don't know if I should. Just... I need some help. Use the profits of the economy. Catch an economy. Okay, how about this? I'm just gonna prepare my darts to. Uh, okay. Ready for uh, Giggles, it's your go. Uh, you are yeah, the only one that you are like the main like pixie killer here. Yeah, this. Let's go. That's a Plus hit. 11. Sure, that's a hit. That one, that would miss. But thankfully, I have exacting strike. So let's try that again with the last action. No, nope. never mind. Uh, but you did get one of the damages off. Uh, ten. ten. This pixie's not looking very good. You would say that they are, like, almost severely wounded. Cool. Well, if they decide to nuke the other, um, cockatrice, that's not my problem. Moonkid, do you not have a last action to move again or something? No, because I flurry of blows, I moved in, and I pulled out my darts. So... Oh, yeah, yep. And, yep, that's my turn. You are okay. in final sacrifice. I'm gonna have a very, very yeah. signed turn. Oh. I'm gonna silently scream. <laughs> <laughs> you're just that's silently. Okay. Yep, silently screaming. Oslin, it's your go. I am going to free action devise stratagem against this pixie. This pixie's really not looking too good, buddies. That was supposed to, I clicked on blind and it just like uh, didn't change it. Uh, you, flag. you know, there we go. you know for a fact that they have final sacrifice and they are looking really itchy to use it. Oh my god. <laughs> cool. And was that, uh, the, was it a crit or no? It was not a crit. It was a success. Okay. Then I will roll. <laughs> 17. 17. That's really plus nice, 11, actually. That's 28. No crit, that but it will hit. It's really uh, the range penalty. No, uh, I'm using a bow. Oh, okay. Uh, with a. Uh, Poison Dero? With a 100 feet uh, increment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have no reason to use the Poison Dero because this thing looks bad, right? Um, it's looking to I me, mean, it's looking a little bit under half. Okay. I'll I would say that, wait, wait, you will be, you will refresh this. I will give everyone a long rest after this. Yeah, I'll, uh, save the poison arrows for later. But I will use my, uh, talisman that's on this thing. I will mm -hmm. activate the talisman, which oh. is the potency ruin. Mm hmm Oh! <laughs> so it's actually a 29. Yep. Um, or no, 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 it's a 20, it's a 20, it's a 28. But it is yeah. striking. It has an AC of 23, that, so... The, yes. the Bane, yeah. the Bane ammunition as well. Mm -hmm. The Bane would take an extra action. Yeah. I'm so, not using the, the Bane, I'm using a regular arrow, because I don't want to use the... I don't, I don't think the using the Bane right now is worth it, so that's... Uh, uh, eight? It, no, it would be one more D8 that I have to roll right now. Yep. It is. Oh, it has not very oh, much man. HP left. It is. It is. Oh, it has four. Up. It has four HP left. Good God. Oof. And then, for my uh, last action. Second action. Oh, second. second action. Second action. <laughs> <laughs> does it? Does it play? I'm taking away my actions now. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. You did like a uh, nature check, you did another check, you did like another check, and it's like, yeah, I have my first action. Welcome to investigate. Beauty of investigating. Beauty of investigating. Uh, this, this, get the roll dice. This, this pixie's really not looking too good. Well, you just so for this thing is flying, so I can't do anything other than attack it or demoralize. And I shit at demoralize thing. Uh... A 4 HP, can you finish it? And the dream. Yeah, I'm just going to strike at it without the vice stratagem, so it's only plus 10. Minus 5? Minus 5, so yeah. basically just plus 5. You need an 18, 19, or 20 to hit. That's a nat oh, 1? No. That's not, uh, that's not hitting. That's not, 
quite right. No. A, little bit, a little bit under, a little bit under the AC, just a little bit under the AC. Oh, I should also make sure I use up the other arrow as well. Minus um, seventeen. Got one. T this this cockatrice is looking a little bit, uh, a little bit chompy. I will use my last action to command Botan to run away. Because Get out! I, 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 I can't do I would... anything because this thing is flying. <laughs> hiding behind. He's hiding behind Botan. <laughs> Sees him flee. Like, oh no. Um. Uh, like here there. we go. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Forest, you're good. Botan, where are you going? Pick up! Pick up! Oh no! Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, no. uh oh. Yeah. Uh, Belstrax, welcome back to Final Sacrifice. That's oh fine. shit. That's fine. Oh, I have, you're... I have, I have hardness. So I'll take yeah, it. you do have hardness. I, I, I don't know if you can still pass the reflex saving throw. I don't uh, think you could pass the reflex. I'm not gonna kill you, Belstrax. I'm... I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna have you make a. Just not. If you have just a hero point, you can stabilize. I... No, he doesn't. Have... He Belstrax used all three. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna kill you with this spell strikes. I'm just. Not, I'm not gonna do that. But it did take you out of combat, which is what I wanted. Uh, I need Oslin. The ghoul is just gonna be dead. Uh, I will give the ghoul a chance to save on a crit success. Yeah, it's it's, 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 it's gonna die. Uh, yeah, Oslin. I need uh, your character to make a reflex. Success, success, and let's just see. Uh, let me go ahead and cast it one more time to do the damage. It looks like everyone but Andre passed. I'll so just heal. I'll just heal back eight for whatever damage. Uh, that is going to be ten damage to everyone, and Oslin takes twenty. Well, why do I say twenty? No, uh, sorry, Andre. Andre yeah. takes it. Oh, say I, I succeeded, so I just yeah. take the ten. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, cool. really Even matter. It's, cool. yeah, so it's done. Yeah, the ghoul's gone. Um, the pixie is very precious. The, the, the cockatrice is gone. It's gone. Um, it is completely gone. Uh, the pixie is going to just... That is all of the actions of the pixie. Um, Andre, do what you want to do. You know... Uh, days will, will... Okay. Or wait, no, 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 not days, not days. Okay, that's what I thought. They have a will um, plus of 13. I... <laughs> oh, wait. I'll go directly underneath it. Mm -hmm. and actually, no, I can use... I can use a... What's it called? Now... Wait, I have to use my gear. You had a, some kind of reach spell burst you were going to do last one. Reach spell. Yep. Well, it doesn't matter. It's a second level spell, I'd rather not. Uh, I will pass... Arm on it. Okay. Uh, the range of 60 feet. Okay, That's it did. Uh, for to say, I will use the roll it already made. So an eight, it will fail. Okay, so it takes. It just gotta be. It has to be a four or a one. It has to be four or more. <laughs> hey! Exactly four. So how how do you how do you kill this like freaking pixie thing? You know what? I lied and then I. Like, I swarm a harm on it. Like, I slap a harm on it. Uh, these, these pixies seem to have no care for the other person's, uh, life whatsoever. Um, let me go ahead and... Yeah, that's about fair for now. Uh, it's 180 EXP. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yay. as the pixie falls to the floor, you do manage... Somehow, in all of this battle, you manage to not damage the flowers as the flowers seem to be almost purely magical in nature and completely avoided all this giant burst of like energy also you have a uh you have this one unconscious pixie as well as a very uh very stale looking uh teammate oh god um what question can anyone carry a 12 bulk uh wait i have <laughs> <laughs> wait. wait a minute oh, bag of holding only got nine. You can't well, put Valstrax in a bag of holding. You can't put him in a bag of holding. Guys, I can carry Valstrax. I have a max bulk. Just 12 bulk. It's fine. Yeah. I have a max bulk it's... of 14. I can carry him. Uh, everyone make sure you add your EXP. Uh, I will add it personally to uh, Joy. Yeah, don't worry, Valstrax. I got you. 
Do oh, we level wait, up in um, the middle or no? Hmm? I, I, I have, a, I have a good question. Huh? Yeah, in what's the up? Of the wait, so it, it, since I'm behind party level, do I end up double? Is that, is that a thing, uh, EK? You're calculating based on party level, right? Yeah. Uh, typically, I've pretty much always done by party level. Yeah. Like the average party level, that's the same XP everyone gets. Okay. Which kind of fucks up, like over like the lower level people and benefits the higher level people, but like I'm not about the to micromanage everyone's XP. <laughs> the low level people. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you 20 EXP for being brave. Is that is that uh, fair? Did I get the 20 EXP for being brave? Yeah, if you want to do, like, if you want to do, do that. that, that's fine, but, like, uh, I don't, like, scale, individually yep. scale the XP uh, gauge per player. So it's, it's, it's yeah. much work. Yeah, is someone, yeah. is someone putting Bellstrix in a bag of holding? Because he does not have to breathe right now. I yeah, I am. Um, he also doesn't age. He also does... He's already heavy. Robot. What's Question, up? Does my, yeah, items so add to my, does my items add to my bulk or just my? No, bulk? I'm just, no. You're you're good. He, a bag of holding is a 25 bulk limit. Like, you just get shoved in there with like the smelly socks of you know Jay Moon Kid, all of his like generalized like carrying gear. You should be a deer corpse inside. Yeah, you, you're just kind of you're kind of being jostled around in there. I need to check how you feel petrified. Also, I will do the uh, loot at the end. And I'll just do the loot at the end instead of having to stop halfway through. Are level ups at the end? Yes, I will do the levels up at the end, only because I've already calculated okay. too much. That's fine. Uh, anyways, uh, yes, uh, the, the little fox creature comes back and, uh, says, uh, Oh, look, you have perceived... Oh, Oslin, you're here. Everyone's, I mean... every, everyone has full HP. I, like I said earlier, you all get... I know, because full I HP. didn't take any damage. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Joe. Everyone is fully healed uh, in between combats because they're gonna oh, be. I'm a... fully healed. That's good. <laughs> yeah. That's great. You're still statue though. <laughs> yeah, I'm still. Yeah. I'm statue. I can't make healing no matter what I take. I don't think I can make I got you. I got a crowbar ready to chip you out. <laughs> oh no. I'm probably gonna have to respect my team depending no, on the next I... roll for on free myself. I still have to roll free myself. But I'm. I fail. Is it count as me helping? <laughs> What does that, that count for? Hold, hold on, guys. Let's get let's get to the actual story, and then we'll get to Valstrax. Yeah, it's fine. If I if I die, if I fail, I'm I'm a rework. I'm remaking another character. I can't do it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Valstrax, uh, not this. Uh, you see the you see the beautiful uh, flowers that seem to be adorning. They seem to be uh, completely untouched, despite all of it. And one of the pixies is completely unconscious. Uh, as Valstrax did manage to knock it unconscious. Uh, what do you do with this unconscious pixie? I'm gonna tie, tie the pixie up with uh, mm -hmm. my rope here. Yep. I'm gonna get a small piece of it though, just to tie it around. Yeah, it takes like maybe like a maybe like two feet of the rope to tie it up properly. Wait, did, did the flowers like decay on the other pixie that died? Nope. The flowers were intact. Okay. Yeah, let's get the flowers. Oh my god, the always gonna walk up and stab this pixie. Uh, okay, uh, the pixie so dies. The, the oh, okay then. I, yep. Uh, yeah, that's fair. I, I, that was a rough time. You know, I... I just, you did that after it was wrapped up in rope. Yeah. Yeah, afterwards. <laughs> it's a good success. I mean, I was gonna try showing off the coin to try to talk to it some more, but... Yeah, I guess it's more fair. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to expect. I was just going to give her to the uh, sad wolf lady. Yeah, she could kill it. Yeah, you're right. Oh boy, well, let's just get the flowers and get get out of here. I, I think I've had enough of Feywild. You know, it was cool for the first, I, I want to say minute, <laughs> then I got too paranoid. It's just, I, I, I think we should just uh, hurry on our way, right? Yeah, I think we yeah. should take Valstrax home to the king. Right. Yeah, you're right. Let's get Valstrax. Yeah, I think Valstrax I think the, the king can free him. Um, yeah, but but exactly. but first, uh, like well, on the way, I think we can give the I will tell you the the little pity body. On the way, you can give the the flower to the the dryad. <gasps> you just yeah. get closer, and you just hear the wailings of the creatures. Just, <laughs> 
Stop Was crying, you? we have your stupid flowers. Oh, you darling. As so they run up and they like bowl over everyone. Um, they just straight up like grab these flowers like from you and like you see them like put it on their body as the vines from their own body kind of like interact with these flowers as it almost it, it's almost like a thousand tiny little hands are like grabbing at these flowers and like moving it on their body in like the most pristine and like beautiful way possible as this creature stands up in their full bulking height and just uh and just see with this almost elated like voice and mannerisms you can just tell that they have like found something that has been so dearly lost to them giggles is just squinting at all and says all right you do look very pretty with the flowers but i still think you were overreacting i i i may have overreacted a bit but now you know now you know it's just something that we have to do sometimes us beautiful ladies it's just something that we have to deal with sometimes, you know? Oh, so now I'm not ugly. You you are the most you are the most beautiful knoll I have ever seen in all of the lands. But I am the most beautiful flower. We are both beautiful. The, okay, are they the only knoll you've seen across the land? <laughs> I was going to yes. avoid asking that question. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> um. uh, you make it back uh, to the king. As you go inside, the night begins to fall. Uh, you go inside the trunk, and you back, and you kind of go through the trunk, almost in like a, you know, kind of going through that little like blackish uh, entrance of it, and you end up in the phase courtroom once again. Except whenever you go through the, except whenever you go through the. Uh, entrance instead of just having what it was before now suddenly it seems to be almost a completely different room oh, um, what, the... what in the world oh. you go inside the tree trunk and now there's a miniature tree inside the tree's trunk uh yes this is very odd also this is very very odd like you go inside this tree trunk and it is the exact same tree trunk that you went in the first time however it's as if every single thing is it's like going into a completely new area as the night set begins to fall. I'm looking around for my chair in vain. I don't remember this place in my... You see, uh, you see some of the other summer, winter, spring, and fall, and you see the pups just begin to play with each other as they're kind of like wrestling down for the end of the night. And you just see the uh, king himself approach you and say, Marvelous, dearies. It looks like you have solved the uh, wailing crisis. Did you, did you perchance happen to kill whatever was causing such annoying noise? Yes. I mean, yep. as far as... No. Uh, right? They're not, not crying Not quite. Anymore. We oh, gave oh, her oh. flowers and now she's happy. As long as she, as long as it's been dealt with, my ears will now have the most peaceful of noise. As now I may jog in peace in the morning. I assume this will stay the same, uh, so long as she is not parted with said flowers. I will make sure to take extra watch of any flower stealing pixies or or the frogs. The frogs love stealing the flowers around here, as they use their long tongues and they'll just lap at anything we see. I'll make sure to put an extra uh, watch around them. You kind of look over, uh, wait, are you missing one of your companions by chance? Uh, he is a statue. He's a statue. The being here is made- I, I know he ball. didn't talk very much during dinner, my dearies, but you do not have to insult him, so. He is, I'm sure, a very lively fellow. I'm just no, gesturing. Like... <laughs> I'm like looking I'll, away. I'll, He's in the bag of holding. Yeah, I'll bring yeah. it out of the bag of holding. <laughs> just kind of <laughs> dump him out. That. Just land plops on sideways on the floor. Well, this is isn't this water? <laughs> no, this is not. This this is not water. This is like a. This is almost like a miasma of it's like scotch. fungus. Oh, it's, okay. Oh, it's like, a, it's like a miasma, like fungus. It almost just seems to kind of like flow left and right. It almost seems like a watery vibe, but it's just like a thousand little like let's thousand little mycelium just kind of swaying back and forth to give an illusion of water. I see. 
Uh, they will go over to, uh, they go over to the very, very petrified, uh, thing, and, um, do you mind if they, uh, touch you, Velstrax? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, they will go over, and they will begin to, like, run their claws along one of your wings, and as their claws, you see almost like an electrical kind of, uh, spark coming off from their claws, as everywhere they touch, it just begins to slowly revert back to that metal. And with a little flick of the wrist at the end, uh, Valstrex, you are now unpetrified. So, you gave me a reason not to make a new character now. <laughs> no! I still might, but eh, for this session, I'll keep it. Thank you. Don't the flesh on a six-level spell? Okay. Yep. Oh, right. Oh, he's like, he's like, oh, what happened? Where's the conga chasing the pixies at? Oh, oh right. The... Right. Wait, where's the? Did we leave the pixie with the whatever it's called? Them. Left them dead. Yeah, yeah. Someone went up and stabbed the pixie while you were like tying them up. Not someone the... just went up and just yeah. stabbed them. Aw. Okay. Oh. oh. No. Okay. Now only if you could find my little companion, then I would be ever so indebted to you as the king of the fae. I'm sure you can imagine that it's such a brilliant reward. Uh, but uh, before you go, by, by all means, please have a, have a rest here. This is my personal uh, area here, and he kind of points to us. You may enjoy yourself here. I have, there's, let me kind of, kind of gestures around. Like every single piece of fungus here, I swear to you, will be the softest piece of pillow you have ever seen as the grass itself will caress your body in a way that will make you have the most restful of sleep. New kid feels a bit terrified reminding about the sleeping animals before. Mm. Nothing will nothing will quench new kid's frightened. <laughs> I prefer to sleep with one eye open. I don't have a bad role. Just the you know. Are you going to reject their hospitality for the second time, Moon Kid? <laughs> uh. He almost died as well, so like, uh, he still feels afraid. That's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, please, partake in the, please, please partake in the, uh, cushiony environment here. This is my personal bed chambers, this whole area. Giggles Every... walks off, falls over, and starts snoring. <laughs> they try to neatly make a bed roll on the floor, and he just like, lies flat on it, to, like eyes a bit open, and just waits to pass out from being tired all day. <laughs> Valtrex goes over here and goes into shutdown mode. You stay on this corner here, that's where Moon Kid is. Um. So what is Oslin doing? Well, I want to do a sense mode of fungus baking. Go ahead. I still don't like these fae. Can't trust them. Uh, yep. Uh, you and begin. This is the subject of my first investigation, so I do get the plus one. Uh, you are pretty sure that, uh, you kind of remember the story about the, uh, soul eating of the Fae earlier, and, like, you were at least about 50% sure that if you sleep in a Fae realm's, uh, bedchambers, you will at least wake up with at least 1% of your soul missing. Just a tasting of your soul. But you're not too sure. Zerna's just trying to make I a flex. Like, yeah. <laughs> if you could just yeah. not roll like natural ones on your sense motive <laughs> check, this would be really great. If Moonkey heard that, he'd be he'd want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like performing a summoning ritual on this like bay or something, Andre? I don't know. He's trying to, to lag your server right now. <laughs> oh my! I forgot that moving lag. My bad. He's trying to crash the server. He's trying to crash the server. Uh, what is? Uh... I am going to. Uh... Well, 
Oh, I'm like, trying to try to like stay awake all night, but I'm assuming he's going to eventually fall asleep at some point, whether he likes it or not. It is the most. It has no soul. As you as you fall asleep, like you rest, like you expect him to kind of like stay up and kind of watch, but as you kind of lay down on like this nice soft like fungusy kind of ground, it is like sleeping on an air where like all of the fungus like mycelium begins to kind of like rise and like have every single pressure point in your body like perfectly balanced as you just feel like almost a sense of pure weightlessness and it almost it helps say you... that my mattress having uh, like just a ton of mushrooms growing out of it is a bad thing for some reason uh <laughs> <laughs> how is uh joy handling all of this after almost dying to a fireball uh how is joy feeling fireball. I Joy's feeling good. She, she, she saved. She, you know, ho hopefully, the the pitsies don't turn into pitsies again. So she's really happy about that, and she, she's gonna see the rest. She she, she, she trusts the the fakey. Like this seems like a good place. They will go over, and you see the corgi kind of like taking little like little pitter patter of steps, and like it kind of does a little pitter patter here, and it realizes that no matter where it does its little pitter patter. The mold just like the fungus just constantly seems to cushion it, so it never actually it's not like able to adjust a bed, and it just kind of gives a little like harumph and like just sits down and enjoys. And you just fall asleep on your little corgi, almost kind of like slowly asleep in like the little top of its uh back, as it assumes the uh bread position. Uh. With that, though, I will say the night passes and everyone can take a long rest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will say everyone who is not sleeping on a bedroll can get a plus two temporary HP because of the amount of comforting sleep that they received, having the natural That's... nature cushion them. Since <laughs> I have price the cloak to pay of feline <laughs> <laughs> I have made a mistake. <laughs> Long your resting heart. removes your infused items. No. <laughs> right, I can fix it up again. Um, uh, anything that is considered daily preparation, just assume that you do the same daily preparations unless there's a reason that it's different. Yeah, I'll do all the same thing. Okay. Um, anyone, uh, mechanically, if anyone needs to do stuff, uh, oh, my book. Okay. yeah, um, does anyone want a short five minute break? Since we are going to go to the next scene in combat, or if we can just keep going. Uh, I could use a short break, but okay. it doesn't have to be super okay. long. We'll give everyone a five minute, uh, we'll have been at the 40 minute mark or whatever, like the 41 minute mark. All right. Yep. Need some water. How's everyone else feeling who isn't taking a break? How's everyone else feeling about the session? Fun session. I'm feeling a bit stiff. Really? So. <laughs> a, little, a little bit rock hard. Are you feeling a little bit rock hard today? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! You know, petrified, a little bit stoned, you know. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Quite on. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think I would get anyone with the freaking petrified. <laughs> I was really curious. I don't. I, I, have I actually a, I have a plus nine, and I still got petrified. <laughs> plus nine in fortitude. Yeah, yeah. it was so a DC twenty two. I have a plus eight, and I, and I you're the one who got turned into stone. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> here in the Fey Realms, it reminds me of the backup character I had, who specifically was cursed <laughs> to lose his name. That's why I'm referring to my backup. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, 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 if I die in the Fey in the the first world, then it's fine. As soon as you, as soon as I got petrified, I'm like, oh, okay. Let's look through my character folder and see which one I want to play. <laughs> yeah, all the back. I am halfway done with making that character if I do decide to play them instead of Valistrax. Yeah, I slowly made like a, a lot of characters like an entire day. I'm trying to see what, what what do I have on my list now actually because I I've got now a lizard folk barbarian, a hobgoblin swashbuckler, a halfling fighter, and I wrote the note is a chef. 
Oh wait, here I'm gonna post it. I had another idea for a character. It's a um inventor construct that just sits on their construct, but it looks like this. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> it's like you're riding it basically, but it's like it, it's just wow. You know, just inside of it. Oh man. Wait, so I still I do still have my race back, so yeah, maybe. Construct is fun, but when you have like more, as soon as you hit like thirty five movement speed, you kind of have enough. Yeah. 50 is just overkill when I want to chase something down because it's funny. Yeah, but I'm like making the flash though. This is end goal for Moon Kid. When and, and Moon. And, yeah. When I reach level 4, I'm getting a lot of speed boost. I'm getting the key rush and the uh, warp step. Oh, are you taking uh, Heaven Seeker? Or not, I mean, not Heaven Seeker, uh, Perfect Way of Perfection. No. What is it called? Oh, oh yeah, it is Way of Perfection, I think. At level four? Yeah, I thought it was. Oh yeah, EK. What's the verdict on like the create undead stuff I asked about? What was it that you asked it's about? It's in suggest. It's in help. What is that? From how long ago? Like yesterday. Oh, this. Fuck. Oh. level seven. Huh. Why can't y'all just play cookie cutter like? I'm a fighter. No. I like to go kill. I need things. to be. I need to fill my needs. Can I, I use the old like, people with these? Like, I want to be I special. Wanna I want to like interact. Imagine with these wanting weird to be rules. special in a fantasy game. So many people are automatons. Like, why? There was so many automatons in this server. Can there we was all three go of back them. To being Humans. I there want was human back. There was three automatons on this server. I'm slowly losing automatons. I switched out still away for yep and yep. I'm trying. I'm going back to kobolds at this point. Oh my god. Yeah, we need more kobolds. You're you're betraying the automaton pack. Yeah, we need we need more kobolds. kobolds. Yeah. It's just more fun to play a little little. Is anyone little guy? Like Android. I'm wondering about that. The other robot. Android. You could be a. You can have a robot. You can have an android kobold. Then this even works. I have. An, I actually have art for that. Uh, do I have it on? I haven't well, saved my server though. <laughs> is server that a, is that an inventor kobold? With the picture yep. you posted, inventor kobold. Yep, with a uh, construct that he sits that he sits in. You know, I want to make a lizard folk despite the kobolds. <laughs> yeah. Just a, is, a lizard folk is just a tall kobold. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it has to be common. Oh, okay. Here, oh my here, God. I, I found it. I found the kobold. I, barbarian. I think kobold should just be a common race at this point. Like, kobold should just be a common race. Really like, yeah. yeah, they really should be a common race. What's funny is I don't know why there's so many uncommons. I don't get it. I don't, yeah, like, I feel like the world would, like, like, yeah, like I don't know, like a kobold, like a kobold is like as common as a goblin. Like yeah. saying a goblin is uncommon yeah, is yeah. just like what the hell, like. It's more so. It, it's way. less about I. I or this is my interpretation. I'm not saying this is correct. Yeah. I think it's not about the commonality, like from a biological perspective. It's the commonality of like play them leaving their packs and becoming adventurers <laughs> and like being. Not evil, if that makes sense. Because wow. kobolds like aren't meter. evil. Assuming kobolds are lawful evil, evil yeah. by default. By They're default. lawful evil by default. Yeah, hold uh, on. And evil, alignment so. is a bigger deal in Pathfinder 2e than it is in like D and D five e, where like in D and D they're kind of straying away from alignment, yeah. but like still keeping it in weird ways. It's like Pathfinder 2e, like alignment is like a lot more defined, and there's like yeah. kobolds are more lawful neutral. Uh, What's that? Kobolds are lawful neutral. They're lawful evil. I'm like eighty percent oh, sure. Uh, I can go check kobolds. I can check kobolds. I would happily check is... kobolds. The kobold yeah. ancestry is lawful neutral no. on average. Yeah. Is everyone back? The ancestry, yep. so like the ones that you can pick. Yeah. Oh, never okay. mind. The monsters are yeah. all lawful evil. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. If you're in the monster manual, you kind of have to like give it with a grain of salt. Well, Just like also the not... monster manual will list stuff as good and neutral, like very yeah. regularly. Yeah. So like you don't actually have to treat them as good or evil. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 
I would never make I would never make Cobalt Spirit evil. Well, he, he, here's my counterpoint, EK. Goblins are common and they're cat at evil. Yeah, <laughs> um, I think though the the goblins were added as a rate or an ancestry because of PFS. And like yeah. PFS did like a lot of stuff throughout like like the reason why like kobolds and goblins are in the positions that they are now from like a like uh from Galarian perspective is because of PFS and like a lot of the lore has been written played out by PFS if that makes sense. A lot of the stuff that's been unlocked for players has been like PFS. So I don't know the exact details of like why exactly goblins are common and why kobolds are. are. Uncommon, but if I was to take a guess, it's related to PFS and the exact uh events that led to them being playable races or okay. not. Um anyway, so you know when you wake up and you wake up and it is the most beautiful like you think it's the most beautiful morning in the world as you kind of but then you kind of realize that the lights were kind of always on. So you were you were like you were ninety nine percent sure that you have slept a minimum of eight hours, right? You were ninety percent sure you slept like a minimum of eight hours. However, and you and you, you 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 wake up after that, and uh, you decide you need to go find the companion. How do you plan on finding this lost companion? Uh, did we did we ever ask what the companion is? No. Oh. Let's, go back, let's go back and ask. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to actually see if they would ask. Oops. I was gonna... Yeah. <laughs> go back. Go back to the game so you know what you're looking for? Oh, wait, I can't, I can't ask him. I'm too afraid. Uh, somewhere else. Hello! What is What does the animal companion look like? Where did you last see it? Well, the fake human say, Oh... My darling Foo Foo, he was so south. He, we and kind of uh, says uh, they were out by the south border, where the border between the undead realm and the Fey Wilds meet. He typically is plays the guardian over there, and I fear that he some may have gotten mixed up with some undead crossing into our borders. It's always such a tragedy whenever we have to put them down. They've already died once. To see him die again is such a shame. Mm. It says, uh, he was a beautiful dog, always big and vibrant, bigger than all the other dogs here. All my other pets and cats, they were always just the biggest, most guardian-like dog I've ever had, as they've always been able to protect us from the undead. Mm. And of course, like I said, their, their name is Fufu, my darling Fufu. Thanks. And just uh, ready to look away and just uh, walk out the. You guys following? Yes. You, you know yeah. what? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you, you want to stay? You want, and of course, you obviously have to partake in the morning breakfast. Of course, it'd be oh, yeah, so impolite to leave without to partake in the morning breakfast. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Moon Kid, would you like to partake in the morning breakfast? I appreciate the, everything you've done. For I will. I will. I'm staring at you, Moon Kid. <laughs> I, 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 the being in front of you is greatly appreciative of everything you have done for us so far. Uh, but I will have to politely ask to decline. Such good manners you have learned over only the course of a day. Very well. I will let the others partake. Please sit and rest for a little bit longer as the rest of us enjoy our morning meal. Thank you for your politeness. I do not eat breakfast. Bye. Because <laughs> I don't eat breakfast. <laughs> Giggles. What is I'm following Giggles now, just to, in case of fear, for more fears, I'm falling out. What is I have a question. What does food even taste like for Valstrax? Uh, Valstrax. Uh, what what is a sensation 
that is probably Tastes extremely like pleasurable to like now like what what's this sens- what what is this sensation that Valstrex loves motor mm. oil <laughs> i have yeah i did drink oil before so it probably just tastes different types of oil I'll oil them up mm. It is, it is almost like drinking a goblet of the most expensive wine in the world. As it basically tingles down your know, thing, you feel like little bolts of electricity jumping from the liquid itself all around you. As you feel like your whole body becoming almost charged in a way. As if it's, as if it's just replenishing little tiny crevices that your wiring just can't seem to reach. And it has like just a sudden little sparks as if little pins and needles are shooting into those little crevices that you just can't reach to with your electrodes. Okay. And uh, with that, uh, you will go outside. And you go outside, and despite you sleeping an entire eight hours in the Fey world, at least eight hours to your knowledge, it is completely dark outside still as if only a single as if only a single hour has passed uh let me get the scene darkness there we go oh cool uh was this obvious before we left like before we finished daily prep um you would you would not this is your first time leaving uh um, do would you do it were you doing the prep inside or outside of the uh Locking. fake kings probably inside but but, 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 but joy will say it, 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 it's it's normal um you know it, in the other place it it's it dark for the same amount of time usually but here you know it can be dark for um, a long, long time, or light for a long, long time. Also, uh, can I add? Do you think that if I were to use uh astrology, would it count here in the fair realms, or not at all? You can because certainly I... try. No, it's like it just. I that's my daily preparation. Uh, up in the sky, what do I see? Give me a D twenty. A flat D20. Mm. What do you think? What do you think? (laughs) (laughs) I'm looking at the sky. It's pink. All the clouds, at least I thought there were clouds, turns out to be swarms of pixies. I try to find... (laughs) I try to find, like, if I can, any dots pass through the atmosphere. Those are also more pixies. Everything you see is pixies. Yeah, I don't think I can read anything. It does say frequency three times a day. Would you like to make yeah. two more D20s to see if you can really uh, spot it? I think it's fine, actually. Okay. No, this, is only, this is only for adding my rolls to it, though. This is... Right? Or... I'm not I don't know why. I don't know what the frequency three times a day means. Because no, that's how many times I can use the ability for it. Right? Oh. Yep. Uh, nope. You are, you are in the Fey Wilds, my man. Yeah, I figured. Oh boy. Uh how do you how do you plan on tracking this this spin? I I want to ask uh, a butterfly or, or okay. like, you know. Yes actually. Uh go ahead and give me a diplomacy check. Uh I didn't give I, I Oh yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Um also if you look at my heritage, the the mm-hmm. butterflies they you know, they're, they're my friends. Oh, are they? Um, okay. Yeah. Um, I will actually give that a massive bonus then. Um, that is going to be a massive bonus. Uh, I'm trying to roll a secret. I, I don't, can I roll my own secret, like? Probably. Yes. Yeah, you just mm-hmm. have to put it as, like, private. Is it? Oh, there we go. Okay. That was the actual secret roll. Okay. Um... So you managed to talk to some of the pixies, and they have guided you similar to the south, but into the southwest corner, where the undead begin to kind of meet the fey wilds. Uh, so you have successfully gone one past on 
finding it. Someone else give me a reason why you were able to find this companion. Hmm. Trying to... This is pure creativity on yours end. Hmm. Let me think about this right now. How... I don't have the feet I need. No! Like mean kid track somebody. Uh, hmm. If Honestly, like, I mean, you know, if Giggles wants to go sniffing around, you know? Death wants to ask, like, the closest thing, just, just sell me on something. I am willing to ask for directions. Hold on. I don't know where to exactly. Like, did he give a specific place again? I forgot. Southwest, oh, you're, you're beginning to pinpoint in on the location, but it is a very... Brush on going to very, very kind of turn around a little bit here and there. Oh, the crawling hand is it mindless? What? Oh, what the mm -hmm. fuck is that weird? Place? I guess I need to find the next thing and ask for directions. You know, I don't know. Again, I'm give not me a, attention. give me a diplomacy check. Okay, diplomacy. private diplomacy. From the undead. Yep. Yeah, okay, maybe that's asking about uh, if any nearby undead have been spotted. Right? That's a good question. Right? Anyway? Yeah, you hear the one talking. Yeah, okay. I ask around anything that could try to talk back in common if... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Why? You oh, get... No. You, you are trying to talk to something that doesn't speak common, and it slaps your face as you have insulted it. Oh, my God. Take three damage. Oh man! Do you, you been... need to translate? Oh. Joy will apologize and fill them. Thank you, thank you what? very much. At least someone understands. How dare I say that about my mother? What? Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm tired, guys. <laughs> Moon kids, like I, I don't. Oh, has it actually been a day here now? I'm feeling way more exhausted than I think I need to be. It's still morning, right? <laughs> Uh, it's however long you want it to be. Uh, does anyone? I mean, you just you just sell me anything you want to. You don't have to like look through your feats and stuff. Just be creative. Hmm. Okay. Next plan. How do we? How would we? I don't <laughs> what is what is Oslin doing during all of this? Um. You're the literal investigator. <laughs> I know, I should be doing more, but like, I'm just like, I, I'm just like, getting tired now, basically. I in some um, footsteps. Investigate, investigate. Yeah, I'm, I'm investigating with uh, some investigations on the investigative targets. Uh, I guess I would have switched my, um, invest, my actual, uh, pursuer lead from mm -hmm. the crime to this companion. Yep. At some point. Yep. And then I will uh, I'll scout. Okay. Oh. Give yeah, me a perception check. Let's see. Seek? Yeah. Seeking so is a uh, perception. Or, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 I think it's seek. Scouting yeah. is just a plus see, one yeah. bonus to... Searching is the um, exploration activity wherein you seek... Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not searching, I'm scouting. Like, mm. I, th th that's what I wanted to do, like, scout. Yeah, just, yeah, no, yeah, perception. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna look around for funky footprints and stuff. I'm not sure how well I'll do, though. Go for it. Can I get that sweet, sweet... Plus one. Go for sure. it. Anyone who wants it can uh, just ask for it right there. Yeah. All right. I'm going to add the clue in. Uh, there's only a six on your dice roll. Uh, you don't manage to find any footsteps. Uh, most of the you kind of look on the ground almost most of the ground has been swept up with leaves and this and you see various branches and like you can't really make it out too well 
Jeez. Perhaps we should uh, continue asking around, but this time in Sylvan. I can try rolling and see if I can see anything. Can I get that clue in bonus? Yep. And we'll just start this little plus one. <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> what the hell? Could someone give, you know, you, you're kind of asking around, uh, you, you are asking a Sylvan, so they're not going to be too insulting, but like, they, they just see you as like, they, you are not part of nature, like, you are an automaton, you are like sentient metal, like, it is like talking to a rock, like, they, they do not feel like spending the time of day talking to a rock that seems to somehow think it's important enough to talk to them. That seems like a fairly Feywild thing to do, to be fair. Yeah. Wait, you can't trick a, a rock. That's something. Yeah, that anyone else have any ideas? Oh man. Uh, Joy, you said something about asking in Sylvan. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'll, 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 I'll ask. I'll be like, "Hey, um, the 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 forest he he he, he really wants to find her. So if you he, please help." Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Probably, Probably the worst bonus we've had aside from that that one. Plus. <laughs> yeah. Joy, after just being so in tune, getting both of the successes with the, the level one character, getting both of the successes and actually... <laughs> I know! <laughs> We're getting carried so hard. Yeah, this is her <laughs> You're getting carried by the level one. Um, yes, uh, you do. It is kind of night out. Um, who doesn't have dark vision? Uh, me and Kid. Low light. Actually, wait, hang on a second. I have something for it. I... Uh, you need something for it. It is. It is really dark. Is low light uh, enough? It is. I will say low lights enough. It is. Yeah, you still you have you the sky. low light. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay. Arslan, I think, does has low light. Yeah. No, your moon kid. You're the low, the only vision. human. Yeah. You. I'm holding a dark vision elixir. Yep. I that? Yes, you would. You are going to definitely need that. Here we go. I mean, technically, Arslan is also human, but. Uh, I have dark vision because I'm Sylvie and I have. Uh, yeah, now I have. Uh, you make you kind of make your way out and like you the uh, you start to follow oh. like the undead tracks, and uh, you start seeing bodies begin to litter the ground, over and over as some of the more of the uh bodies that Allison kind of saw earlier, um except these seem to be not just catatomic but almost as if the flesh from their own bones have been scraped even the fur from the pelts have been just completely mish and mangled and you see as you kind of approaching this kind of like little alcove area you see what looks to be a singular like creature humanoid of some sort that seems to be performing a some kind of ritual on this big mammoth over here and you see two dogs that seem to be obediently uh, obeying it which one is Fufu? Which one is Fufu? Oh, no. Why did you shout it? Uh, the fourth team said the, the Fufu is really big. I'm I'm gonna e even bigger than cool. than uh the the summer and winter. Yeah, so I think it's the, the it, it's the ten big minutes. One. I'll be fine. <laughs> Whoop! Uh. Go, uh, make sure I didn't accidentally use that twice, uh, Bellstrix. I'll get it. I'll, uh, I'll just re -add Uh, that. you see on this dog... If you can start using our beauty gems, then I will use mine as well on... Does uh, yours only last on... for a minute? A minute, though? It'll oh, be Yours fun. last lo for longer than a minute? Mine lasts for ten. It's a moderate one. Oh, it's supposed to be uh... a moderate That's why I'm using oh, okay. it, really. Okay. Then never mind. Uh, yep, then I will give uh, Bellstrex that as you kind of approach this scene. You see this almost as he's beginning to, like, slowly peel and, like, rip the fur mammoth off of the uh, mammoth. Uh, he just seems to be almost attaching it to this big, giant, wolf-looking creature. Um, this is just a huge wolf-looking creature. And he just seems to be attaching this fur and flesh to this thing. And it just keeps adding this, like, fleshy, and you see, like, a whole bunch of fur pile that just seems to be this matted, bloodied fur all around it. What in the world is going on, guys? 
And you also do see one other thing right here that looks to be almost like a glowing wisp looking thing that uh that seems to be a, almost like a glowing looking wisp. I love these guys. Yo, I will say that that normally doesn't happen. I've never seen this before. Hmm. Um. 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 Should we just talk? I think. Mm. So is, is, is he is he dead? Like for real? For real? Dead? I thought Fufu was a pet. Which one is Fufu? Um. Is it the big? Or the small. I think it's the. I mean, it could be anything at this point. I think it's the really big one. That's my guess. How about we just <laughs> knock them both out and figure it out later? Fufu. Sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds like an option. Or yes, you can just uh, shout Fufu very loudly yeah, and see I, which one yeah. answers. Yep. Okay. I did that. So which one responds? Are you calling out to them? Are you just yeah. saying out loud, Fufu? Um, as you call out to them, uh, please reposition your tokens in a combat ready position. Oh, okay. I'm not uh, frontlining here. Frontlining as well. Hey, they're undead. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> yeah, our bane mutagens are uh, still for fey, aren't they? No, bane uh, ammunition. Sorry. Shoot, I don't actually have a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, Is that? Yeah. Um. I as you kind of call out to uh Fufu, you see this creature over here just turn its eye to you as well as every single eye on this dog looks at you all at the exact same time in a tandem movement as about 50 eyes all look at you each individually staring into your eyes as all of them look and you just hear this like almost this creature in your own mind you just hear it kind of hiss and saying that uh the king's pet has been mine to control i will now make the button kind of point any kind of like this this golem up here kind of steps voices i will add your flesh to my golem you will make a fine addition to my collection what flesh I think the Gnoll's fur will go beautifully on the pelt of this. Alright, so this guy is the one speaking, right? Yeah. Yep. I am knocking an arrow. You may do that. Um, I will put you okay, right. So you focus on this off. one. Uh, oh, I don't have a... okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Only if you had movement speed. Only if you had more than 35 movement speed. I am oh, wait, not using this, but I'm putting this. Oh, that's the wrong potion. Uh, I meant this potion I'm putting in my hand. Uh, I have a question. Go ahead. One focus. How, how far away is the, the, the Keen's house from here? Uh, at least uh, it would be jumping through the Fey Wilds. It would take you about maybe an hour to get back to the Fey's Kings. If you took all of the right turns. Not any left turns, just all the right turns. Did you just make a focus point and I get stupefied, which I'm fine with. Oh, oh that was a lot of rolls. Please roll good. Please roll. Uh, I will ask for initiative, but wait for me to ask for initiative just in case. Uh, Val Strikes, it may ask you, you can ignore that. Yeah. Uh, have we still uh, got scouting? Uh, I'll, that, uh, I'll give you a plus one. We, we can, I'll give you a plus one. Uh, so we, we should we should run to the 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 king and you know we found him. Oh. The the fay the fay seems to be a little bit uneasy in this situation. It's not I'll give it. I'll just just roll it. I'll give it. I'll add everyone a plus one where it actually matters. I've already given myself the plus one. Wow. Wow. How is it? <laughs> uh, Andre, you see this undead, and you feel like a, you feel like a, like at least like a five second hesitation about attacking someone that is of similar mind and body to your own. Yeah. Um, so I does, the end of the round, right? um, actually, Wait, I guess, the... <laughs> uh, it looks like the plus one wouldn't have mattered to anyone, actually. 
Yeah, I, I was looking yeah. through the plus one doesn't matter to anyone. Uh, oddly enough, uh, Giggles, you notch your arrow, right? Go yep. for it. <laughs> All right, exacting strike. Okay. All right, the stance really doesn't like to work unless I manually click it for some reason. Uh, and I'm gonna loose a big old arrow at him. That'll hit. <laughs> I he probably won't take uh, have to deal with this at all. But that was the giant centipede venom right there. Ah, uh, go for it. Let's see what it has. It's an undead. It's a disease effect. Yeah, no, uh, it's uh. It's yeah, I can, poison. Uh, so if it's immune post... to poison, then there's no real okay. point. It is this. Okay. Um. I'll just see what, let me just see what Fortitude saves, see if it crit fails. Uh, yeah, the undead, it doesn't seem to work on the undead. Yeah. Uh, you do have two more actions left, though. Uh, one more action. One more are action. they all undead? You are unsure. You can ask. With you can, which uh... I'm going to... Oh. Go ahead. Hmm? Uh, with which I'm going to shoot at him again. Oh, okay, never mind then. The arrow goes wide as it hits into the mammoth's tusk, shattering bones around the area, and just barely managing to like have a single bone nick the uh, nick the guy, but it doesn't seem to do anything. My fur is mine to keep. You just see this. Uh, you see this uh, dog-looking creature as he heard the uh, as he kind of heard the owner speak about the gnoll's fur. And you're gonna see him like do 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 and like a dart back and forth. And... As he gets within range, I'm going to bite him. Okay. Is that a opportunity attack or something? Or... Yeah. How I... did how did he get Do you have a ten foot reach? Do you have ten a ten foot reach? reach? No, he's walked right up to me. It's yeah. when they move out of your uh, move out of a space that you control. Maybe I don't yeah. so it's count. when they move within your reach. With, like it, with it. so that is, I I hard describe it. Um, so what is within his suite? So he didn't move within your thing. He moved into. That's the difference. Yeah, so if he that's if he moved from movement in my no, reach. So if he moves from here to here, that is movement within. But he didn't move within. He moved into. It is that it's a little bit of complicated verbiage. But attack of opportunities include moving within. So that would be like if he tried to flank you like here, then that's whenever you say you can activate it. But when it says move into, that's the difference. Uh, it only counts when if you have reach. So if he was right here and you had a reach weapon and he moved to here, it would count. But he is moving into, not within. But uh, he's still moving in a space. It, that is into. Mine. Just because, yeah. It, but it, It's... It's it's the way attack of opportunity works. It's within. Yeah. So like basically, he goes into your reach, and then you can start looking for triggers for attack of opportunity. Yeah. But the act of like them coming into the space doesn't matter because right. they move. For, they're like they were here, and then they came here. They have right? to already and be then in you're, control like, before then, you can actually hit them. Yeah, right, then, within, uh, yeah. then they a, can start triggering. I I will agree. It's a really confusing like verbiage. There is a lot of confusing verbiage with it. Um, it is a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit of troublesome. You have to do the action on when it's within your like five yeah. foot whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh. But, anyways, oh my god. Since okay. uh. Oh gosh. Oh, that's actually kind of. Why did I take that damage? No. No. Why didn't you take it? I was trying yeah, to. For some reason, I got. Uh, yeah, no, that's weird. And then the second one will be a miss. Uh, let me get the actual uh, battle music once again. There we go. Uh, this big old creature over here, this little thing. Uh, you're gonna see him. Kind of, uh, you're gonna see the creature kind of fade out from existence a little bit, and then reappear right beside you. Like, it's kind of like fading out, and then it fades right back in. 
Um, however, it is looking in all of the different directions. And yeah, it's just going to go after the null. And it does have uh, pack tactics, but that won't matter. Uh, you see this, uh, you see this kind of like this little creature looking thing, uh, begin to rise up and it will claim the corpse of one of the, uh, bodies around it as the body will start to slowly, slowly walk over to y'all and actually it would move right here. Uh, Moon Kid. That is gonna be its uh, miss. Oh. Uh, let's see. They're all here. They're all here. They're all scattered. Boom. 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 Oh no. Oh, these poor. These poor people. The, the, the creature that seems to have all of the flesh, all of like the bodies, you see like. You see like a tiger pelt on one arm, you see like a cat pelt on the other, you see like the wolf pelt that just seems to be dotting his stomach. This thing is basically has multiple things just all over its uh, body. Um, it's going to take a minus one penalty to its attack. And uh -oh. Moon Kid. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> What did he ever do to you? That is gonna be... <laughs> what the... Uh, he takes one minus to his penalty to attack, he deals 25 damage, and then knocks you prone. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. Yeah, and that's his, uh, first action. And, uh, the second action... This is the oh, no, sorry, that's action. the, that's, yeah, it's the third action. Oh, it cr the crit! <laughs> oh. Is gonna die? Oh, oh. Don't just oh whoops, uh... Man. Uh, some reason somebody, in this thing took damage instead of Oh no. Well, honestly, I only uh, think they're pretty good at anything. Uh, well, yeah, you don't. What, Moonkid, what? Oh, yeah, uh, Moonkid went down. Oh, no. Dalstrax, it's your go. Uh, so he's in. Uh, he's already in the main. He also or moves in initiative order. Uh, Sorry. yep, I do. Yep, I will change that. 45 feet to move it. Let's do this right. We're gonna use a key point. Slash How that. dare you go after the caster, Valstrax? I feel personally offended. How dare I, uh. How dare, how I dare you go after the caster, the weak the caster. caster? Oh, I haven't got. Okay, go into stance as well. Let's see, I did that. I meant to do that. Are you afraid he's gonna, like, final sacrifice or something? Like, God. <laughs> God! Oh no! Don't even put that thought in my head! <laughs> uh, just I checking. I don't have hero points. I just don't checking. have hero points. But that is a waste of a key point. But, uh, yeah, that's my turn. Very exciting. No. Don't put uh, that thought in my head. <laughs> don't honest! Don't make me think about this. Don't make me think about this. Uh, honest, Jonah, it is seeing you get super close to it. Um. Seeing as you're basically getting uh, super close, uh, it is going to take one action to get the heck away from you. Like, God. Really, like, you're lucky I don't have stand still. I went for wholeness of body instead. Like, oh my God, like, you need to like chill out as he's gonna just... Ooh, 18, that's not gonna have... hit. Nope. I have 25 AC. Uh, he's gonna do one more at a minus 10. 23. Also, miss. <laughs> Who knew drinking a potion gives you plus 4 AC would be so bad? What? Oh. Awesome, this your go. Okay. You know that plus 4 item bonus and stack with all our item bonuses, right? Yeah, it I don't have armor. Yep. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Thank you. Armor. It only works for people um, who don't are basically naked. It only works for naked people. Yeah, basically. yeah, no, that, that makes and sense. And who don't care about recall knowledge checks? But <laughs> uh, no, I one hundred percent. You and one hundred percent do recall knowledge. I, I highly encourage it, actually. Yes. Anyways, uh, time to ask fun, fun mechanical questions. Yep. 
Uh, my two investigations are the crime and the companion. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You would get free um, on both of those. Free action on both of those. And uh, which one? So who, who do I get free a uh, device stratagems against? Uh, the 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 definitely the guy probably doing the like probably the one the caster yeah, over like, there. Can, can you like uh, just like, uh, uh, visual? So I think you don't like you a... don't you don't know which one is the actual companion. I can have you. I, I, I... Roll the check to see if you know which one is the companion. Um, I, I think if they're if they're like related, related, then you, you can yeah. divide the threads against them. If they're just like you know, you know that you were looking for a dog, so I will say either of these it would work on either this one or this one it would work on. Yeah, it's not and, if you're aware that the creature is, is the subject of the lead. Um, it is so, kind of dog-like, but it also has like a bunch of other pelts to it. You would not imagine that this is. I can not... do it against this one. Yeah. Okay. Why is its target box so small? Yes, because this is definitely not like a. That is definitely not a. Uh... You do not think that is the pet. Why is it lagging every time I try to change it from like public to blind? Because I'll click blind and then it doesn't change okay. it after. Uh, what would you like to know about it, actually? Because there's several things you could know about it at this point. Um, fortitude. The, the saves, really, I want to know fortitude and reflex, and if you'll also give me will, that would be nice. Uh, fortitude, it goes 8, 10, 11. 8, 10, 11. Cool. I will check my dice roll. That's not going to bother um i will not take out the current ampule so i will use 8 10 11 8 8 8 poor moon kid is so, tripped what happened what's that poor moon everyone's kid. dead i'm kidding everyone <laughs> died Everyone dies. Oh, no. I will. Um, Honestly, it might this happen. Thing. Okay. With assurance. Oh. Which is a guaranteed 18. He is grappled. Well, it is now flat-footed mm -hmm. and I will use my second action to and for time to come here oh, you're flanking with your pet Thank yeah you. I mean it's like flat-footed anyways though but it's like whatever why not just if I'm gonna have to move both on anyways I might as well move them there okay. yeah that's right which one does the yes jaws Ooh, that will hit. Damage of... Oh, wait, I have 11. Some... And then, I rolled for my device so strategy of 6. My first action was grab, second action was command Botan. I still have a third action. Um, assurance doesn't trigger map. Is nope, right? it does not. Yep, it does not. It does not. So that means my roll with my rapier plus yep. six, was it? Yep. Gonna sure yeah, six would be a 17, so yep. um, 17 uh, would hit. Yep. Assurance does not... Uh... Yeah, assurance does not trigger map. Uh, uh, like you can assurance on... Yes, like, you... You can you, assurance, assurance on map right? three, but you... If you use it, it still advances map. That's what I thought anyway. And then it still has the attack trait. Yeah. Um, I do know it doesn't. I do know it doesn't qualify for map in terms of penalties. Yeah, it removes map from yeah. the roll because it ignores it. But I don't think that means it doesn't actually uh, advance okay. map. Wait, I, mean, I, I think you need, just, you need to do it in a different order. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, just gonna say that he does in a different order. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. hand wave that and say he does in a different order. 
Okay. Then 10 damage. That would be my three action. Yep, he takes That's five damage. Five damage? Oh, oh and uh, you said the poisons don't work, right? Uh, this, 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 this is a different guy. This is a different guy. This is a different guy? Okay. That's on the that's on my right here. So is that Success. uh success, does that do half damage? It doesn't do anything. Just the energy no, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Uh Joy, do you have any form of healing? Do you what are you doing? Like do you have any kind of form well, of healing? Well, I I, I wanna go find the freaking the, 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 the dryad and kill her come over. But uh uh, would you like to go do that? It would probably take more than a minute. I'll say that it would take probably more than a minute. Well, th then that's all. You, that's the combat. So, um, uh, I, <laughs> if I if I go, my friends will either win or be dead by then. So, yep. um, I guess I'll try to. Well, I I will say that my daughter is really fast. He's a forty. Mm -hmm. He's a forty foot move speed. Uh, would you like to try? I can get, I can, I can certainly, if you would like to try, I can let you. Um, I, I think that is my best option. Okay. Um, well, well m m my dog moving is only, is only one action. So, yep. I, I can give a, a healing oh, potion. Mm hmm Um, I, I can draw a healing potion and, uh, I'll... Does I, I'll throw it at a Carter for the name. Giggles. Giggles, yeah. And G G Giggles has a bow, so it's only one hand, so they can kick it. Okay, I'm going to roll a one d4 here in private. How do I roll a private one d4? Where did Joy go? Uh, Joy and Dependent Connection issue. Uh, can someone so roll I mean, me a like, private? Mm -hmm. On the map. Oh, uh, yes, they went to go find the Dryad. I, I, all I have is poison, so... Yep, uh, they went to go find the Dryad. Uh, and Andre, it's your turn. I don't know, okay. Uh, Giggles, does flanking matter to you? I am leaving very soon. Okay. Uh... What's it called? Reach spell and then warrior's regret on this thing. On what the uh, that it's thing? Uh, okay. Does it take? It, um, it will take. There is something it does do on a success. Every yeah. single time it attacks a different target, it is going to take one d eight damage. Oh, it's, oh! I forgot that's the. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, that's my turn. That's all three. What was your first action? Reach yeah, spell. Respell. Oh, um, under can you, can you do a blind 1d4? Uh, I got it. I got it. Okay, okay. So, what kind of potion did I get? Uh, you got a... a what is it? The lesser healing potion? You got a lesser healing potion. Oh, right. I still getting healed. Uh, let me put that in chat. Oh, I, uh, forgot. Um, whenever I hit... An enemy with uh, a devised stratagem technique, mm -hmm. I can make this uh, thing flat footed to an ally. Okay. Uh, for the round. Um, and I would guess I would just make it flat footed to our null friend, Eagles. Oh. Uh, it is 2d8 plus 5. You have a 2d8 plus 5 potion. That... Yep, yep, I got it. Uh, I'm going to stuff that into uh, Moonhead. <laughs> Moon Moon 13 hit points. I heal for that? Uh, I will heal yep. you, but yes. I will. There you go. You heal for 13 HP. And then I am going to run away. Okay. I just did actually. I don't know where to run. Oh, wait. I'm going to use warp step and run away. Yep. Uh, 10 feet of movement. Yep. Uh. I'm just this... standing beside this guy because I like annoying him. Yep, uh, he... <laughs> you, you do not realize how... How oh, many yeah. actions would it take to I get like... to there? That's two actions. I wounded one, right? 
Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm just and then they attack you while you're flat footed. Nah. I'm not gonna do that. I just hope he could. I mean, um, happen. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, they're gonna go up to Austin, who is attacking the the uh doggy companion. They go ahead and flat footed to Austin. It auto calculates. Oh. Um, that's not gonna hit anyways. And that's not gonna hit anyways. Thank you. Uh, this big old guy is seeing you there. They're gonna attempt, and they're gonna attempt, and they are going to attempt. Okay, up. <laughs> I'm so happy that they're rolling so badly. Uh, luck or somehow. Alpha. Somehow, uh, it deals, uh, 9 damage to yours, and on the minus 10 map, it hits you. Alright. Uh, this guy over here, seeing everyone's kind of, a uh, little bit about, uh... I don't want to do that to, uh... Yeah, I do want to do that, sure. Uh, it's gonna go over here, and it is going to... No, it can't even do that, it has to Final go from... Final sacrifice, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, well, it is... Sense. It's gonna cast, uh, Death's Light. Uh, ah. I need... I need, uh... It says in a cone? Uh, All you know, living like creatures. I'm not living! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no, it's uh, There we go. I need uh, all three of you to make a fortitude yeah, saving throw. One creature fails at save. The card will be two d six hit points. Uh oh. Oh, negative damage. Fighting and fighting three. Critical oh, success, God. and I need one from Botan. Okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> just, just fine. Just ignore just... me. Roll 20s, bro. <laughs> That's what I keep telling people in this server. Just roll 20s. It's guy. a mindset. Uh, Moon Kid, you don't take the 2d6. You take 1d6 instead, which is actually higher damage. And it kills uh, wow. it It's only find one instead of the uh, find two. So you did actually get you did get ahead in all of this. It's just. It's just a little funny. Oh, you did, oh, you don't get any find at all. Uh, Moon yeah. Kid, it's your go. Alright, I think I'm gonna stand up. With... And with that, it uses a multiple... It has this opportunity attack. No, it doesn't. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. It does not have it more. You! You! <laughs> it doesn't have attack. I need to look at it. Yeah, you guys. Get back up. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna try to trip the flesh. Let's see how that goes. Go for it. Give me a thought oh. check. Oh, I love you. Okay. Here we go. You gotta be kidding me. It, oh, that's good. Oh. Wait, that's bad. It, that's bad. You are you are one away from his reflex DC. Yeah, hero point. You are, he does not. Do not ask him to use a hero point. Do not ask him to use a hero point. It will critically fail. Okay. So I just uh, <laughs> I start helping. Helping start flanking over here. I'm all so, alone. <laughs> hey, look, it's the flank train. <laughs> flank a flank train. train? That sounds like a final sacrifice worthy kind of train. <laughs> Come on, uh, participate in uh, the flank train, Golem F. Follow the flank train. <laughs> Golem F. <laughs> 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 Actually, follow the flank train, hold on. Participate <laughs> in the flank train. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That's a bit too esoteric. Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> Uh, it's yeah. gonna go over here. It, it, it's, you kind of, uh, it kind of, it's gonna take the minus one to its attack, uh, it's gonna, it's, it's you know, it's just it's gonna do it, uh, it's gonna do the second one. Okay, that's gonna hit. It takes 1d8, so... Yep, it I'm does take... Damn yep. <laughs> uh, it takes 1d8, uh, you take, uh, let me do it, you take the 17, and then it grabs you. Okay. No, sorry, sorry, it's not grabbed. It just knocks you prone. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Valstrax, it's your go. Hi, it's me, Valstrax. Here with Dragon. Just gonna move up here and get flanking. Nice. 
you strike. This time, hopefully, hit. Positive damage. Do not with a flurry of blows. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, that is going to kill oh, it. Oh, my God. Holy damage. Uh, this thing is going to die. Really? Whoa. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> it's a caster. What do you expect? It's a caster. So I'm, going, I'm, going to drop, I'm going to drop that potion I was carrying so I can move at my full 50 movement speed. Blank trains. No more, no more casters to cast final sacrifice. Eventually, they have a scroll of final sacrifice on them. Yeah. Look at the I'm down. I'm down. Uh, Oslin, it's your go. Okay. Well, you know what we're doing. Blank train. Blank train. Can it please? Okay. There we go. I have to wait like. Uh, you got a nat. That's a that's a nat twenty. Okay. <laughs> See, I keep telling you. Just hey, show, the uh, show, the show the dice. Show the dice. I will show the dice. I'll show the dice. Give it a second to load. Also, I will say uh, with that. Let me right click it here. Uh, let me. So let me. Oh, hold on. I think it's gonna be this thing. Um. There we go. Reveal to everyone. So, oh my God, what is um, because it's a nat twenty, or because it's a critical success. Yeah, I get a plus one circumstance bonus to my attack roll. And I would like, like to yeah, remind you, could... oh, wait, I would wait. also hold on, Austin. Okay. Uh, with that nature check, you would remember that this is exactly the dog that you have come here to save. This is poor Fufu, the guardian of the Fae King. And what I would like to know is, is this thing able to be saved? You With the nature sec, uh, you're 99% sure. No, no, no. I'm saying, can this thing be saved? I said 99%, you were sure. Yeah, okay, so sure I can't what? save it. What? You so, are yeah, 99% sure. I'm talking about, like, this sure. thing looks 99% sure of what? You can, you can save it. Uh, yeah. Okay. But like, do I know how to save it? Like, uh, you are not sure how to save it at this moment. Yeah, we killed the guy controlling it, and that didn't work. I, I'm not gonna lie. I thought the, the killing would work. So it's uh, yeah. it, it did like. It also it hasn't had a effort. turn. It does, but like, uh, what I'm getting at is I. So I don't want to keep attacking it. Uh, you can always knock it unconscious. You know this Unless is not undead. undead. It is not undead oh. yet. Okay, yep. Yet. That is a bold That's assumption. Probably what I'll probably end up doing when I guess. Um, yeah, so I get a plus one uh, mm -hmm. to my attack roll. And uh, each ally that I convey the information of my uh, recall knowledge check will also get a plus one. Uh, against this thing uh, for the next attacks. Uh, I'm just gonna put the note myself. And uh, does this affect Botan? Because it says allies. It's yeah, Botan's an ally. Yeah. Botan Animal companions are always speak. allies. Yeah, but it's like Botan doesn't speak, so like, you know, understand language. So I don't, I don't... He knows you. you all... Okay. Non weakness doesn't have the auditory trait. Yeah. But it's talking about information. It, it's whatever. It's whatever. Anyways. Uh, I got a nat 20 on this check. Uh, okay, so I asked uh, if this thing could be saved. Is that all I can glean from this? or? I mean, actually, you know this can be saved. Uh, you know it can be knocked out unconscious. I don't know how much more you want me to tell you on one more. Mm -hmm. Important, I think. Um, it, so, it has resistance. It has resistance to all damage except force. That's kind of what I was figuring. Well, oh, I'm whoa. definitely not attacking this right now. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Weak. Weak. Uh, what's Just the action more... from like grab to what is it? Restraint. 
Uh, yep, you'd have to make another athletics check. Yes, I know. But I'm, like, looking up the specific word for it. It's oh, uh, it's immobile. Is... It's uh, restrained. It is restrained. Or is it immobilized? I'm trying to find it. It's not. It's not. Grabbed gives them immobilized. Restrained is something entirely different. Restrained overrides everything else. Yeah, no, there, there's a sequence of, like, after you grab something, there's something you can do for grabbing yes, them. Yes, you have to... No, uh, you have to make an additional athletics check. The yes, grab no, no, only... I, I understand that. I'm saying there's an action you can take. Yes, once, it's... like, the condition is you grab this thing, you can now do this action. You, that, um, like, restrains them. So, as far as I know, also, the grab condition actually ends at the start of your turn. You have to use an action to re-grab it. It doesn't just stay grabbed forever. If you don't use an action to re-grab it, it will have it will be ungrabbed at the end of your turn. Uh yeah. I mean I'm going to succeed anyways by assurance. Check. Yeah. You can keep uh, it grabbed with assurance. You can keep it grabbed, yeah, yeah. but you can roll like I, I I know, I'm saying I'm pretty sure there's an action I could take after grabbing this thing. If it's a feat, it has to be like a feat or something. It, it would I have to be a feat. I don't think it's a feat. It's called... There's... I'm trying to remember. It's called something. Like... Uh, if you want to restrain it, I will, I will let you restrain it and we will call it a day. Yeah. If you want. Then, yeah, I will re-grab it with assurance. Okay. I will restrain it with my second action. Okay. And then for my third action, I will actually uh, attack the other thing without the bias stratagem because got I don't this. have to because it's a different target. Yeah. Got it. Thirteen hits. Wow. Thirteen hits. Oh, what the. On a two! Yep. Remember, I keep this balanced for literally, you know. Why it is flanked, I will give it, it is flanked. You also gotta keep in mind that, yeah, uh. Yeah. Yeah. There's a level one in your party, I'd like to remind you. I know, I know, I know. Uh, that so is all your actions? Uh. <laughs> Uh, Joy is spending their second turn, uh, getting help, and, uh, I need everyone to give me a perception check. One? Nope. Oh. Mindset. Are you guys showing off with your 25s? <laughs> uh, would Botan also roll or no? Go for it. Join the cool club with the 25. Yeah. Yeah, it's just roll 25. Nope. Uh, That's cool enough. You can just, like, you hear birds in the distance as something seems to be coming. Andre, it is your go. I don't know. You feel um... Oh, wait, I don't need to be. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Stand up, yeah, first action. Second Ta action, Soul Anything. Siphon on... Are you gonna Soul this? Siphon? A oh, okay. It's 30 feet. Succeeding. Damn, half damage. You would... I eat them. Uh, it takes one Harm. damage. Harm would be better. It takes oh one my damage. God. And Resistance to all damage. Three and then what? I heal for one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I heal for one. God damn, that was a bad idea. <laughs> um. That's all. I have one action left. Let me see. One action harm on myself. Okay. I'm so assuming you. Damage. Can you fail? Do you choose to fail your own? No, there's like a specific thing for harm. Oh, wait, it's two actions to increase. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, any fine. one action spells you can do. Works on me like Run away. Shield. Run away. run away. I don't have shield. You wanna run away? I'm flanking. Wait. Okay. Remind me that. God damn it. Okay, yeah. What is so do you heal <laughs> okay? It's like an auto thing. Um This thing is just gonna take uh not 20 on that. I'm assuming that, uh, I'm assuming why? that... Uh, is it... sorry. Why is my, uh, initiative no longer at the top? Because you went down. Who? Yeah, because you went down. I did. The no, flesh golem. Yeah, you went, the flesh golem knocked you down, so... The moon kid fell down. What are you talking about? Who's... Yeah, moon yeah. Kid. Who's you missing? The moon... Yeah, when, yeah, moon kid went down, so their initiative got moved. I was the one who brought moon kid back up. Uh, what's what was your initiative, uh, Giggles? He was at the top. Was, like, yeah, you at the top. top. You at the super top. Uh, yeah. I will let you do okay. that. Uh, let me. Are you going to just? Tell me, are you going to attack this like one animated guardian warrior? But since Moon Kid went down, their initiative is permanently moved. Yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. going to attack this okay. thing right here before I let it do its critical and also then you not? Oh, that's why. My bad. <laughs> maybe I would. Maybe I wouldn't. I will use that critical. On them. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, I'll probably end up attacking this guy as a secondary anyway. Okay. I'm going to make a non-lethal... Actually, no, how healthy is this guy looking? Uh, he is, like, really healthy. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna do a normal strike on him. Uh, with the known weakness. That's for the, uh, warrior for later. Crit! Oh, you also crit. Uh, make sure yeah. who you are attacking. Oh, yeah, I'm targeting... I'm that shouldn't have critted. The blink dog? The pet of the uh fake king? Yeah. Okay. Uh it dies. I thought you were talking about this thing. No. I was uh, I was Oh I thought you how were... healthy that was. Oh, he's looking very poorly. Uh oh, you can I was you going can do... to do non lethal. You can do non lethal. Uh, you can do non lethal. Okay. That was that was my bad at communication. Uh, uh, yeah, no worries. Uh, it's not a crit success, obviously. Go ahead and just roll regular damage, because it you managed to get just exactly the 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah non-lethal, it is almost down. Uh, it is, oh, I will great. give you, it is at 6 HP. Yeah, I'm gonna take a... I'm gonna leave the... No... Yeah, no, I'm going to have to hit it a couple more times. Uh, still non-lethal. Mm-hmm. Why, why are you... Oh, because I used the Envenomed route, uh, arrow. That's fine. I did use the Envenomed arrow. I had the Envenomed arrow selected. Uh, um, how does it do against Giant Centipede Venom? Uh, was it Fortitude? He's doing yep. fine. Yeah, no, that's good. Uh... Map minus five, minus two. So it is, it's AC is severely lowered. Yeah. Yeah, I have a plus four to hit though. We'll see how this goes. And this is exacting strike. That'll hey. work. Oh. It takes zero damage. Damn. It is very hard to do non-lethal damage to something with resistance to five to all damage. Then yeah. it shouldn't have healed. Because mm -hmm. it's half damage. Then resistance. Okay. Uh, this uh, dog is. Oh, yeah, what else you can do? I don't know how many actions uh, you have left. May as well. I'm just going to map minus 10 at the goal. Okay. Nope. I missed by a very short amount. Uh, we are going to continue this combat that I was doing with Arslan. Um, after it manages to do its critical strike, uh, it deals 24 damage to you, Oslin. And it will make a free, so it will take one action to grab you. Uh, oddly enough, it does form a grab crane because you don't actually lose the grab against the other thing, I don't think. Um. Aaron, I gotta grab the thing now. Yeah, it grabs you after you grabbed its friend. 
Uh, and then it's a map minus six. Nat one. Nope. Uh, Blink Dog can only do one action, which is try to uh, get away. No, I'm joking. Uh, restrained. What is it? It's a fortitude save? Uh, does a natural 20 uh, get unrestrained? What is going on with these rolls today? Yeah, that's a crit to see. Uh, and then it's going to, uh, buy is this a, basically a wild animal at this point. You just one action to do that. Uh, 17. Uh, 19 will hit. Uh, for 10 damage, and it's last action. Jeez, how much health do you have? Ooh, that was Why one, you? one away from <laughs> downing Oslin. Uh, this... Light. This little creature up here, uh, Fell Strikes, you haven't been hit at all. What? Uh, no. It's gonna go up here. No. No, it's doing, it's not doing okay. Uh, Moon Kiss, you go. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna get to her right now. I'm, uh, I'm going to Stoke Flame Stance here and start my flurry of blows onto the thing. Here we go. Yeah. It's it's dead. It's dead. Don't it, it's it's dead. Okay. How did you roll? Oh my god. Rolling that twenty. And I'm gonna move forward here. And I'm gonna do a. Actually, no wait. Animation. I'm gonna move. Actually, no. I'm gonna move a little bit further. I'm gonna move right over here so I can non-lethally punch it with a normal fist attack of uh of the blink dog here. Okay. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna hero point that actually. Okay. Oh yeah, of course that's a ghost. Yes. Uh, 24. I haven't, used, I haven't used any of my hero points yet. I have still uh, two. It takes two damage. It's, it has four HP left. Okay. Hmm. And, oh, I guess that's my turn then. Uh, Oslin. Oh no, so, uh, it's this guy's turn. Uh, it is. I don't think that it can flank. I'm trying. Uh, it'll tell me if it does or not. Uh, death. You look like death incarnate. And it also kind of looks like death. Uh, so. Uh, Andre. That's going to just be straight up 30. I have one HP. spreading <laughs> here. What the heck? And it's why is it? Now. You get it, Chris. No, why did you... Uh, let me go ahead and heal it back to... Uh, for some reason, it took 33 damage. I will minus 3. Uh, also, it does knock you prone. Everything's fine. Uh, let's just go ahead. Let me just go ahead and just do this. Just for... There we go. Okay, you're down. Yeah. Goodbye. Uh, I don't know why the plus one is taking a look. Oh, it's no. actually really bad. Oh god, okay. No, my flanking is no. Uh, and no. then, so it does that, it does that, uh, and lastly, uh, Valstrax. Ooh, that is so, 19. Yeah. Valstrax, it's your go. You used to see your skeleton buddy? Uh, yeah. what even happens to you, Andre? Because I don't even know, like, your special ability stuff. Like, do you even do the dying condition? Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. I do have dying, but still. Wait, I forgot this. <laughs> He's still up then. He's still up. No, because he also he also dealt twenty damage after the second thing. But the first thing was not crit. The first thing was crit. It would turn into a non-crit. No. Yeah, the first thing would turn into a non-crit, and then. Yeah, the four damage crit. instead of double. So you would have taken half from the uh, crit, which would have been 36, 18. But then it dealt 20. I am at eight hit points. No, because it... I think, I think you're dead. No, it, you, died, you died by one. Yeah, you died by one Wait, HP. It did, yeah, it, you died by one oh, HP. Oh, 20, not 10, my bad. Yeah. God damn it, no! <laughs> oh. Okay. So close, Felstrax. I'm flying a blossom. It's kind of this. this I'm also key strike. This is my last. This is my last uh, focus point. Uh, 
dying, by the way. I am dying. There you go. Oh! Damage makes me close to damage. Uh, it takes... Uh, let's just see. Yeah, it says, uh, unaffected by positive. Are you... Uh, I thought... Oh my... I should've doubled. Okay. Unaffected by positive and resistance to physical. It's a zombie and it's... it's still... Like... It is... It is literally just exactly the staff block. It has a hell of a lot of immunities. Okay, um... Is it... It's a zombie and it's immune to positive. I it don't... is... It's a construct golem, actually. So it's a mindless construct golem is the actual staff block I'm using. Uh also I do wanna mention um Uh so nope uh, none of that's electricity damage, right? Okay. No. Um question, question. is it higher than my level? Because it needs like four to yes. save and I it is okay, it's gonna be one higher. Oh wait, uh it's level four. It's level four, yeah, no yeah. yeah, so it's just a normal. So what does it do? This uh, does it take the fortitude save? Yep, because I hit at least once. Critical yeah, succeed. <laughs> the monks never what succeed their stun. What is it? It happened that? once. Right, it happened once. I did it. Question: Is this thing looking really beat up, or is it? Uh, it's about beat? half. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna use my uh, fiction thing. Oh, Albert Claw. Oh, I know what that is. Okay. It, it makes it. It's slow to one. Uh. At what is it? The slowed uh, one? It didn't, it didn't pop up with you. What is it like you hit it and then it just becomes slowed it, one or something? No, you, yeah, get your critical, you get your criticalization specialization, which for uh, unarmed, it's slowed one. Yeah. Okay. Or, or you can make a 1d6 persistent fire. Uh, he would probably take the 1d6 persistent fire, to be honest, if he has a choice. Oh, wait. Uh, uh yeah, I uh, uh, yeah, just light it on fire, actually. I have the choice between those two. Uh, I do have one more action, though, because I think it might cost an action. Watch. Oh, we'll punch it for negative. Yeah, I'll punch it for negative, then. The one time I used that feat, it was useless. No! Okay. Well, it's still burning, so I, uh, I at least hit it. All good. Yep. Uh... Auslan, it's your go. This uh, this puppy's not looking too good. It has three HP left. Four HP. Um, I don't even feel like doing the recon knowledge at this point. Eighteen. Not good. Yep, even with the minus two, that'll definitely hit. Yeah. yeah. Hooray. Feet down, right? Very unconscious. Yeah. So, uh. Yeah, that would be a 26. That'd mm -hmm. be a crit. Yep, go ahead and roll the... Uh, I mean, tw 26 would be... Wait, on the blink It's off? not a crit. It's not a crit because it's no longer oh, it's grappled. Oh. I could take half I of that if you I, I want. Did, I'll take half. Yeah, just it's, take half of that. Just take, uh, it doesn't even matter, really. Yeah. Just uh, he, for yeah, he, uh, um, he's unconscious. Second Wait, action. Oh, command Botan. Go there. Uh, I will go here. I shouldn't be grabbed anymore. I exist in two different places right now. That's funny. Uh, it's showing a preview of where you started your turn. Yeah. Um, I'm just standing here so that Botan gets flanking. And why am I still flanked? Uh, uh, is that your turn? No, Botan needs to attack. Oh, yep. Why well, you need to be in dying? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll save you. Don't worry. You can... Do you have Stitch Flesh? Uh, uh, uh <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. That was just a I'll one. do it. I'll re roll with the hero point. There we go. Thanks. Okay, uh, it I takes. All three elevens in a row. Wait a minute. This... Um. Okay, so is that your go? Yes, that is my turn. Uh, on Joy's turn, uh, you see what looks to be a very, very, very fast corgi running uh, back into the battle and through the trees. 
Yeah. A large hey. creature oh, seems to be coming board. through the woods. No. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. It sees this abomination of a creature. As Joy just says, like, that's the one. And uh, it is going to... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> just go up and whack this thing with a single action. I'm glad that we didn't have this that. mental image of her picking it up and crumpling it on her head like a beer can. Uh, that is going to be Joy's turn, is, you know, helping them get close. Uh, Andre, I need a death saving throw. Actually, no, you probably wouldn't have done it anyways. But anyways, you're back up to zero. Uh, Giggles, uh, you seem a new challenger has approached. Yep, yeah, no, this is the lovely lady from before. I'm going to shoot at the sprite a bit. <laughs> okay, Valstrax. You know, just... uh, I'm going to move it off of Valstrax. Okay, no, I've already selected it. Uh, okay. Just for shits and gigs, you know? Uh, you can say clearly that you're, you're probably going to... Uh, I think you, you don't think this corpse slice is going to stand a chance against y'all, but... All right, I rolled a thirteen twice. Uh, Oops, fucking sorry. Roll high. Multi attack penalty. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. Uh, yeah this that, that yeah. tracks. Yeah, it, it tracks. Yeah, the it tracks. the second no, one hits. Roll that because the why not? The first one missed. The second one hits. Turned one crit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Of course, the second one. Of course, the last one with <laughs> minus ten hits. Yeah. Uh, it's just you throwing a hero point at a plus one attack as a meme, and it worked. <laughs> Yeah, that's so weird. What, what's with the <laughs> thing? Or this? <laughs> uh, the corpse light is going to uh, use all three of its actions. Let me double check. Oh, nope, it can't do that because of... Nope, it can't use that. Uh, it's just gonna... It's just gonna... It's just gonna run away. <laughs> if please. It completely flees. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, who's, how are you going to deal with your uh, almost dying companion? Oh, I'm never going to do this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I can still attempt to stabilize. That's not like a positive healing thing. Nope. Uh, they also passed their death saving though, so they're actually 0 yeah, HP I'm right not, now. I'm not in danger. Oh, okay. Holy shit, do they <laughs> That's considered for also the roleplay and everything else. That's not just the encounter. Oh, but that is the bear. You did successfully not kill the bear. Or, well, attempt to kill it. Oh my gosh. That's 430 for the service. Seven. Yep. Uh, because this is now a oh. four-hour session, so... Yeah. Oh boy. Um, Joy's gonna ask the, the, the pretty dried lady. Um, this is the, the forest king's pet, but I don't know if they... They did do it. Can you, can you help us carry, uh, carry it back? Uh, yes, they will actually happily help you carry it back. Uh, you just go see. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, how do you heal your. Uh, how how do you bring him up? I, I guess, I guess the. Uh... Yeah, you can't bring up because he needs to uh, switch flash. Yeah. So you're gonna um, see, like. I don't know. You... Yeah. I have battle medicine, which isn't positive healing, but it is still healing. I mean, you, you, you still yeah. need stitch it's flesh neutral. for that. Uh, you still need stitch flesh. Like Andre, you. Andre is just gonna sleep for a bit. He's he's gonna go to sleep for the day. Actually, with like the we... collapse reaction, is I just look like a pile of bones. I look yeah. like I'm dead, even though I'm not. How do we do? How do we bring them back together? I will like grab his uh, oil of unlife and like. Or it on his bones, I guess. I I, don't know. You don't have to use the item if you don't want. This is the end of the session. You don't have to use the item yeah, if you want to keep fine. it. Okay. Yeah. All right. To be fair, Stitch Flesh actually doesn't do anything for battle medicine because it only refers to treat wounds. Yes, and battle medicine lets you just do treat wounds. That, that no, is it doesn't. It lets you roll uh, a medicine check with the same DC as treat wounds in order to restore a corresponding amount of HP, but it's not actually treat wounds. Uh, you manage the, the, the big old dryad lady, uh, drops the, uh, foo-foo there, as you see the fake king go over and, like, start to pet the dog, and it's like, oh dear, you go to switch the music, so you kind of bring back, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit kind of speedrunning this ending part, but, uh, 
the the fake king goes over to the uh dawn and says oh dear oh dear he seems to be suffering from a mild headache and they you see the king kind of like pet the head of the dog and the dog kind of wakes up a little bit and all the eyes turn to the fake king all at once as the fake king just begins to like pet the head like, there we go the headache's all gone and the dog sits up all the eyes staring at the king and just sits up and just kind of like kind of just breathes a little bit dripping from like all of its body to the floor such a good guardian like that don't get lost again dearie i'd hate to see you have to i'd hate to have to send somebody after you again Okay. I'm gonna right, give y'all the. Uh. Oh, I don't. Uh, not it. That's not it. It's not the right one. <laughs> it's the eggs. It's the eggs. Oh, Here that's you go. The, I know where that's. Yeah, that's the eggs. <laughs> uh, there was your loot for the day. Jesus. All right, let me take a screenshot of this real fast. Let me take a screenshot. Oh my God. That's a lot. That's a lot of loot. He like, I don't really care for loot. Like, consumables. All consumables. Oh. All consumables. All consumables. Okay. Oh, look at those narcotics. No. Oh, Guys, don't take the cutlery. Don't take the spoons. Don't take Who's going to loot the cutlery? Who would like to loot the cutlery? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But guys, you can use it for a spoon gun, though. Yeah. Oh do you, what you do? Just <laughs> wait to see. <laughs> I'm waiting to see who takes that cutlery. I'm watching. Don't do it. I'm, I'm probably respecting after this. <laughs> just so I could I could risk it. <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. I'll take no! it. This no! No! Too bad, it's my... <laughs> You just heard from the beginning. No, you are cursed. <laughs> uh, oh, you my. take the you take the Fay King's cutlery, and oh, you're in, your it. your soul is now bound to the Fay Wilds, as you have now accepted a gift of such power that you are now permanently attached to the Fay Wilds. You may do whatever you wish within the Fay Wilds, but you may not leave without oh. permission from the Fay King himself. Oh, well, that's a wonderful reason to respect them. <laughs> Wait, I just saw that. Wait, you, have now that? you have now become a new guardian of the Fey Wilds, as you have now been added to his pack of wild companions. You know what? That's actually so. pretty so. fitting. Oh, cool. So. Wait, what happens if we take the other stuff here? Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, that means oh, you don't... Uh, Valstrax, do you still keep the gold if I give it to you? Yeah, I'm assuming because everything gets transferred yeah. to the new character. So. Yep. You know what? Uh, I'll just take that. Yep. Uh, so we have right. Giggles, uh, Giggles, Valstrax. I have two Valstraxes here for some reason. Yeah, um, I have control over Valstrax as well. I don't know. Why. Uh, I will give. Uh, I will just make sure that um, it's split between six ways. Let me double check something real fast. I don't think 156 divides by. Okay, 25. 150 does. Yeah, 150 divided by 6 is 25. Okay. Uh, if this doesn't add it to you, Valstrax, I'll make sure to... Uh... So we have both... Uh... I'm watching my money. Okay. Os Oslin, Joy, Andre, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I'm missing one other person. Mooncat? Uh, Mooncat, yes, thank you. That was it. Um, I don't have Mooncat on the thing. Is it listed under Root Kid, or do I, do I have it listed under someone else? Ruben, maybe. Ruben, yes, I do. There we go. Okay, there we go. Names. <laughs> Note to self. Next character I make, the nickname has to be the same letter. No, no. no. <laughs> when you uh, make uh, this mutagen, it's a one. Joy, Joy would like, you know, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Joy would like all of these. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, I will give you the mask plague. I think I think Joy was it. You won one of the mask plague. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to grab that Siddlesh. Uh, oh, I don't know which ones I could get. Um, it, Some the, of these the, are just narcotics. So, 
I don't know. I will Wait. say this. It makes more sense. It makes more sense. It makes more right. sense for the Sidalesh to be reverse engineered and the uh, recipe be put in the library so anyone can make it. Oh, yeah, that's it is true. Absolutely, yeah. It was to pay 15 gold for it. Yeah. Oh, this is a. We're buying this stuff? No, the no. The, the, if you take, I mean, yes, I'm saying like if someone if is going to take that for the loot for themselves for that, you can either have it. If you all agree, it goes to there. You can do that, but if someone just yeah, I guess that's personal use. Yeah. yeah if so, you're if, if you're okay with it going back to the settlement, then yeah, that's fine. Okay. I I, I like I like the reverse engineer all this stuff. Yeah. Um, I would I, give it to Oslin just because they seem to know what they're doing with it. So I don't know much uh, about that. Yeah, you can just case, give it. I've got to go really quickly, so yep. if nobody cares if I take that snap leaf, then I'll. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Okay. I, do want I kind of it, wanted you know. it. Do you want to just want to roll for it? I, I literally also kind of wanted it. Could not really use anything else. I don't do melee attacks or anything. Sure. Um. Oh. Oh you wait. You took the drink. I wanted on. to. <laughs> Do you want to roll I guess for the I drink could take soothing sense, drugs? but that only works. No, 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 you, you can take the snap. You can take the snap. Oh. I wanted no, to. Soothe would work for me, except.